up, what up, man? It's your boy Shy. Shy vs. A Bite Podcast, man. Episode 65 in this motherfucker. We got rapper, uh, creator of a gold medal game, right? Yup, yup. My nigga yep, Mojo yep, Dick, yes, man. What's up, what's up? What's, what's good what's with up? you, bro? Hey man, slow motion man. Hell yeah! Slow hey, this nigga's on time man. I'm happy dog. <laughs> niggas be in this bitch outside playing this yeah, shit. Yeah, I'm dog. trying to change the narrative <laughs> of us rappers and shit. You know? Hell yeah, for sure. But shit, man. Before we get into the show, man. Today's show is sponsored by Part of My Motherfucking Eastside, man. Go check them out, man. Merch. You know what I'm saying? You go get you some tees, hats, hoodies, all type of shit. And also, you can get Part of My West Side type of shit too if you ain't from the East Side. But you should be from the East Side. But if you ain't, that's all good. You can hit them up at uh, www partmyeastside.com and you can also follow them on IG partmyeastside go hit them up man uh, the creator is Q.Lewis go ahead and hit him up man he, he also my producer he do a lot of things in this bitch so, uh, Q.Dow <laughs> yeah go check them out get y'all some motherfucking merch part my motherfucking eastside man first time we did sponsorship man I felt pretty good and shit <laughs> but uh, good too shit hell yeah man but before we start man we always do a, a little thing called salute me while I'm here a lot of okay. times niggas wait for people to pass away, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying, give them some flowers that they, they, they can't smell, okay. you know what I'm saying, but we, on this show, we like to give niggas they flower, flowers while they can still smell them, you know what I'm saying, and um, shit, but it can't be nobody, the normal, you know what I'm saying, it's always good to be like mom, dad, mm-hmm. kids, or yo, whoever you're in a relationship with, go outside of that, dog, so uh, you got somebody in your mind? Uh, hell yeah. Shit, I got like mad people. Shit, give, give, give uh, one of them some love then. Uh, let me see who I can get some love to. Uh, my man, um, Miles. Yeah. Miles from uh, Podcasting. Okay. That's my dude, man. He he, good people, man. For sure. Uh, shout out to my cousin, Melissa Talbot, too. Yeah. From, uh, she do a lot of films. She do stuff okay. like murder. Yeah. Uh, uh, what's that? What's the what's the guy's name? Murder Pain. Uh, murder Pain. Yeah. But what's, they, what's they company name that they oh, work uh, with? Uh, Moolah Moolah Films. Films. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I always say, I don't know how I forgot. Yeah. It was last night. I was blow. Don't know <laughs> Look, so uh, shout out to her, my cousin. She always give me mad love, always showing me mad, uh, uh, showing me mad little things and yeah. shit that I that I don't know about and shit. And, uh, For sure. Uh, shout out to my video guys too at Go Take Media yeah. by shooting an amazing video for me because like. For sure. That was my first video. Oh yeah, yeah. And, we gonna and, tap into that too. And, yep. and, and 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 that was just amazing. And uh, shout out to my mom. Yeah. I'm, oh. Outside of them, my yeah, but you go ahead, shout out. You are shout out, everybody else. Yeah, go well, shout out to my mom and my dad too, cause you know they they my real like support system. I got a lot of people that support me for though. sure. Just like y'all, you know, you guys yeah, here, yeah. you know what I'm saying. But hell yeah. like my mom and my and my dad, that's like my you know the core yeah, support yeah, system, sure. the nucleus. Hell shout yeah. out to them and shout out to my my son too. Oh yeah, yeah. Cause shout you, out. you know he he really does just put the fire under my ass. Hell yeah. You know what I'm hell saying. Yeah. So I I, for I, sure. I I I really I'm really uh that's all the people for right now. Yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Shout out to them out, man. Shout out. Man, my shit, since you was talking about Moolah Films, man, I had this dude on the show uh, probably about, what, 20 episodes ago? <laughs> uh, my Thomas Harris, man. Shout out Thomas Harris, man. He was uh, in Buffed Up. He was with the Ohio bitch and shit. Oh, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. He was in, uh, he was, he, he been, he been a cop in two, two different things. He was a cop in uh, 5-0, and then he was a cop in, um, what's the name? The, uh, damn, what's the name of that series again? McGrath. So, uh, okay. yeah, shout him out, man. He was on the show. And I ain't forget, bro. I told you when you need third number three, holler at me, dog. I'll be a nigga who gets <laughs> shot in the motherfucking film, dog. Fuck it. Yeah, if they need somebody, I can act too. Yeah, let me put my shit out there too. <laughs> Listen, I can act too for real. Like, I can act any scene out. I remember one time I made a nigga cry in the car. Me and my man's in the most bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I, was, I started acting. We man. threw that. We threw that. Uh, that Wiz Khalifa. It's been a long. Oh yeah, dog. Man, that nigga bust out of tears. I don't know if it was the Jameson or me, but shit, I'm just. It was me. Fuck it. <laughs> yeah. So, hey man, you got two niggas right here, dog. I'm gonna die. He gonna make you cry. <laughs> for the show, for sure. So shout out uh, Thomas Harris, Moolah Films, uh, McGraw Season Two. I see they uh, they back in production, dog. Yeah, Can't yeah. wait to see that shit, dog. Murder Pain. I ain't hit you up a couple. Times man, what up though? Shorty Rich, all them niggas, dog. So yeah, shout out to uh, Thomas Harris and uh, whole Moolah Films, man. But shit, man, before we get to the music, man, we always, you know, what I'm saying, talk about your come up, man. You know, what I'm saying how it was growing up, who was in the household, brothers, sisters, shit like that. What what part of uh, Detroit you from? Oh, I'm from the west side of Detroit, uh, yeah. Schoolcraft, Wyoming area. Okay. Uh, uh, mom, dad in the crib. Yeah. You know, for the most part. Yeah. And, uh, and um, G, you got any siblings? I don't have no. I'm the oh, only just child. You? Damn. Yeah, I'm the only child, man. I'm that shit. How, how, how was that? Like, just <clears throat> nobody. You know, what I'm saying, fuck with or fuck with you. 
and shit like what it, it was the time you like damn I wish I had motherfucking brother or sister or you had like some cousins or homies that was that was kind of like that <clears throat> heavy on the no <laughs> 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 I love I'm by myself shit. I got everything shit. I'm good, dude. I'm by myself. That's it. <laughs> yeah, I loved it though. It, it was times like when I probably got like a little older. Yeah. Like, Damn, I wish I had I did have like a little a bro or something. Shit. Yeah, like, yeah. With, just go out the back hoop and shit with but, but uh, then I shake out that shit like yeah. I'm by myself. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga said heavy on the nose. <laughs> yeah, but but no, but uh uh everything was cool. Like when I was growing up, it was cool just regular urban city kids. Shit, Hell yeah. Trying shit getting into stuff yeah trying to do all the stuff that the people do yeah if you know you know i'm gonna put it like yeah, that yeah, if you know sure. you know if you from the if you from the if you from the neighborhood yeah you know the yeah, shit yeah. that was out there for you to get into yeah, that yeah. everybody was doing whole bunch of bullshit and everybody dabbed in it yeah, now yeah. no matter if you dabbed in it heavy because yeah. i didn't i probably dabbed in it and got oh i'm out of there that's <laughs> yeah that's jump rope too hot right <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Jump roll in, jump roll in, jump roll out, nigga. Fuck that. Oh, I'm good. This bitch. Yeah, but that, for the most part, though, just just like that shoot, just a kid from the urban community. Dude. Yeah, I did marching band, concert yeah. band. You know that that's what started me with the music and for stuff. For sure, for sure. I love music. Always love music. Uh, me and my old dude, we even took guitar lessons for a minute. Oh damn, for that real. That got us closest. Yeah, when I was in high school. Yeah, hell yeah. Uh, uh, and yeah. I knew I was gonna I was gonna be doing music though, dog. Cause like yeah. I'm a big guy hoop. I yeah. was hooping in high school. I mean, that's how we met, dog. Yeah, hooping at uh, at your uh, for the church. Yeah, yeah, at the school, no school. The school, yeah, school. I'm sorry. Shit. Yeah, school. yeah, yeah, yeah. With Corey, yeah. Hell yeah, dog. That's he was a big motherfucker then too. Yeah. <laughs> And then when I got to high school, I was playing. I played for Mike Talley at uh, uh, Academy for Business and Technology. Okay. And uh, Mike Talley. And then is. I knew I ain't wanted. I knew I ain't really wanted to hoop for. I was because it was a guitar center right up the the road. Yeah, yeah. I used to skip practice and go down there. <laughs> Look, so one day the, the cat got out of the bag. Right. I come out. I'm coming out of the guitar center. And I got I got a mom do bag of chips. I mean that bitch beating on all kind of beat machines and stuff. Right. <laughs> The whole team outside, Coach Tech, like, oh, this is where you be coming, huh? Duh. I'm like, damn, I was embarrassed as hell. But man, so that was, yeah, it. that was it for your whole career out there? You was like, man, Yeah, I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm a musician, bro. Man, oh, fuck y'all niggas, all that running <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, now, I know your pops, he, he was into the uh, hooping heavy, dog. Was he mad at your ass for not hooping? Hell yeah, my daddy used to be mad at me for all kind of shit. I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna keep it one hundred. I'm gonna be transparent with niggas. Like, yeah. I used to like, I used to uh, uh, wrestle. <laughs> yeah. Hated that shit. I'm like, man, this shit, man. We got to run all day. We in this hot ass room slamming each other on the mat. Like, <laughs> like, for real. Like, hey, for real. Like, for real. And my daddy, like, they, I, one time, nigga put me in the chokehold. I, I felt like I could breathe. These niggas tell this nigga to keep doing it. I start crying. I'm like, nigga, y'all don't let me go. <laughs> Man, but yeah, though, dog. So like, that's yeah, cause I mean, like I know with me, dog. I got I got son, I got two sons, dog. One fourteen, one four, and shit. Big ass age gap too. But okay. I'll be a little hurt if you want to hoop. But I understand, like I ain't gonna force it on you. Cause if you try to force that shit on your kids, they gonna be like, man, they ain't gonna love it. Yeah, you cause it, then it gonna be like a sense of a little resentment, though. Yeah. too. you don't want to do nothing like that. Hell just yeah. let just I just, I recently just had a son. And, yeah, so I know. Congrats, like, man. Yeah, Congrats. appreciate that, dog. So like. That's how I know I want to be with my son. I want him to be like free. Hey, the, hell yeah. explore, see what you good for at. For sure, for sure. And then go hard at it. Hell yeah, hell yeah. So what you just hoop for that? Well, your first freshman first I, year? I, no, I hoop. I hooped all the way until eleventh grade. Yeah, it was my twelfth grade year. I wanted to be a knucklehead shit. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Hell yeah. I was mad as hell. End of the year, I got class clown. I'm like, wait, <laughs> I didn't think I was that funny. Like, I don't know. <laughs> what? Who the fuck voted for me? For this? <laughs> dog, funny as hell, dog. <laughs> shit, man. How how was you uh, in, in in the school in, on the school part, dog? Uh, would you taking school for real? Yeah, I was like, a, I was like, a, I was like, a, you know, a two point four student. Yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Hell yeah. I could have been. I, I wasn't saying like that was really where my mental. Like if I really buckled down, yeah. I was three point all day for sure. Hell yeah. But you know, like you know, you be in high school, man, you for sure. All right, no, dog. You worried about Skip the girls. The girls, what you got on? Oh my god, nigga, heavy nigga. on what you got on, dog. dog. Nigga had to be fresh. That was my whole shit because I went to uh, suburban school, ninth and tenth grade, dog. Went to Detroit Public School, eleven and twelve. Nigga, I had to make sure everything was straight, dog. I'm like, damn, all these, I ain't seen these black chicks in a minute. Yeah. Like, I was what with... School, what high school? You, what high school you go to? South, Southeastern. Southeastern. Yeah. But then my, my suburban school was Gross Point North. Gross Point so North. So, it was okay. no black girls there, dog. And if it yeah. was, it was whack. 
I get there like, damn. Like, I'm like, mom, dog, we got to go ahead and get um get some gear now, dog. I had yeah. every color Mike Vick jersey. <laughs> I had the Wilson boy, dog. Like, I had to make sure I was on point J. Best time in life when you start, you know, worry about how, how you look in there, you know. Man, and for shit sure. Like that. For sure. Yeah. That's why I told my um my son and um his cousin, I'm like, oh, y'all niggas wearing lotion. Y'all liking girls now. Because niggas go to school ashy as fuck, dog. Don't give a fuck. You know, they don't These niggas got to buy lotion and put bad. Y'all serious uh -huh. now? They serious. Y'all like. Trying be, they trying to be on point at all times. <laughs> They don't need nothing getting blazed about. You feel know? yeah. like, me? Hey, that's why I be telling niggas, dog. You man, you had to be on point going to school back then, dog. Oh, for sure. If you I'm, didn't, it was over. It was over. Nigga. Now they on this. Oh, you bully. You get bullied. Like, man. I'm, I'm glad niggas used to roast me. Man, shit, that shit made me tough as hell. hell yeah, me tough skin. And then you start seeing like. Man, words ain't supposed to break you down Hell like yeah. that, bro. Hell yeah, you know dog. what I'm saying? Like, what a nigga say don't make you. Like, Man, you feel? Don't me? be, don't come to school late and you got walk in class. You got some bullshit on. Oh Everybody already in set. God, they like dog got the who? What are those? Oh my, what is those? No, no dog, I thought I was doing it big with the uh, G Hills. I got roasted for that. Oh, I got a story. Go yes. ahead, what up? High school, ninth grade. Yeah, I had a twelfth grade speech class. Yeah. I was a different nigga when I got to the 12th grade speech class. You know, everybody was different, mature. Yeah, yeah. So I was kind of laid back, quiet. Yeah. So this particular, I think some fives or the Jordans, but I forgot what number it was. Yeah. But the number come out. So it's a little dope way in the hood. He like, yeah, man, I got the spot where I get the J's from. Yeah. So I kind of looked up to the nigga, so yeah. I trusted him and shit. Yeah, I'm like, sure. where they at? Right? <laughs> so I, go, I, go, I go get the J's. Yeah. The, the spot was on like Woodward, you know, over there by the train station, yeah, by, where, yeah, where, yeah. where the White Castle and all that shit. It was like yeah, I know exactly where you at. Shoe, shoe store over there. So I go in, and I'm like, damn, okay, they got all this shit in here. Yeah. I'm green as hell, bro. I'm like, yeah, it's cool. So I see the jam. I'm like, yeah, let me get them. Them, because I had more. I'm thinking, like, yeah. the money that I had, I'm thinking yeah. it's going to only get me one, one pair of shoes yeah. the J's. I end up getting two pairs. Yeah. Right? So I'm feeling good. So I go to school. I see the number that I got with yeah. the number that just came out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I go to school with them. Yeah. Think you fly. So I'm in my 12th grade speech class. Yeah. So I feel energy. Like, I don't care where you at. If something <laughs> ain't right, energy is going to happen, bro. And the energy is going to happen. So I'm in there. I'm chilling. Woo -woo. I'm chilling, chilling. So I'm like, I feel something. They like, I see. I look at this nigga name. I ain't going to say his name. But this one cat, he looking at me like, so they all looking at him. So he like the now pop, he a popular guy. He got the shoes on right now. Yeah. The same shoes. Yeah. So I'm thinking I'm something because he the popular guy. I got the same shoes. He the only two in here with him on. So I'm feeling great. So, you know, boo. But then I start feeling the energy. I'm like, nah, something ain't right. Like, I ain't feeling like I should in these bitches. Like, <laughs> like, 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 <laughs> Like, for real, like, I'm not feeling like I should in here. So, anyway, so he came up to me and said, hey, man, you a young cat, like, he, he tried to, like, little school me. Like, look, he like, them ain't it. Yeah. I'm like, what you mean? He like, take take one off. Yeah. I took one off. He get to show me. He showing me. He said, you see mine? Look yeah. at yours. Yeah. I seen a total difference. No. I'm like, <laughs> no. I'm like, my nigga, do you know... I threw them shoes away. I felt so embarrassed. Hell yeah. I, but listen, though, my speech class was like second period. Yeah. So I had to walk through the school with these oh, on. So I don't no. know what's being said yeah. or nothing. So I'm around here walking with the J. My confidence is yeah. I'm yeah. trying to stay low. Yeah. I, Head, head down the whole day. Hey, hey, dog. You used to be getting some new shoes. You be that bitch nigga stepping man, high. Like, stepping high. Dog. Feeling good. Dog. You got you got so much confidence. Hell you got yeah. your new shoes on. You can give some away. Hell yeah. My dog. nigga, I did not feel like that. It, you like all the way first period. I felt great. Trust me, I was, was feeling good. good. <laughs> Niggas in my class ain't no shit. I was fresh. They, they ain't no for real. Yeah. But when I got to my my, my speech class, Dude. it was over, bro. The old nigga out. like, like this like, nigga, dude, dude, ain't dude. It, man. Hey, bro, come here, man. What's up, man, bro? You know, I'm up with like, tongue that big. Nigga, I had some, some fake Jordan. Nigga, tongue was this big. Like, goddamn, <laughs> fucking fat ass tongue, nigga. Man, so, like, they had some cardboard and it came in a blue Jordan box, nigga. Say Air Jordans on that bitch. There might have been some Heelys. I'm in that bitch, man. It's hell, bro. Like, dog. But it ain't nothing like a good roasting back in school, dog. Man, what? I used Man. to get blazed so scandalous, bro. Then you had to learn. Like, how I done learned at every. Yeah, you got to. Yeah. Every fat joke I know. Like, I like it. Don't, <laughs> don't a fat joke hurt me. <laughs> you can say anything. I don't care. Yeah. It don't hurt me. Yeah, yeah you heard it, it all. I don't care. You heard it all. I love it. It's like me, niggas. I know every lip. Joke, nose joke, nigga, oh, head my joke. God, man. Like, I nigga. know, hey, you ugly joke. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Hell yeah, you man. Heard? For sure, man. For sure. That's funny as hell. But no, with the, go back to the music shit, man. Yes, and your sir. moms and pops. 
Nigga, a lot of times we get our middle school ear from the shit that they listen to. So we we liking shit not based off what we like, but what they like. For so sure. what was some shit you was liking just off, off your mom or your dad? I'm going to go first. Let me go off my mom. Yeah. I was listening to CeeLo, mm-hmm. Carlos Santana, mm-hmm. Erica Badu, yeah. Lauren Hill. Classics. Jill Scott. Hell yeah. Like that was that was her energy. That yeah. was her vibe. The Neo soul. soul shit. And, Hell yeah. And I loved it. I used to eat it up. Hell yeah. Uh my daddy, you know, he he more he more gutted. He like yeah. he like give me some uh K R S one. He was just talking about he that. He like shit. give me a little rock him. Hell yeah. He was talking about that shit yesterday. We were talking about that shit yesterday. He listened to Scarface. Yep. E forty. He listen to all kind of like different people like that. Yeah, and so you getting, you getting the best of both worlds. And then you got to know too, my, you know, my old dude had the record shop. Yeah, okay. Okay, you know no, I ain't know Curtis that shit. Records. Yeah, him, okay. Yeah, him, him and my uh, him and my uncle, him, yeah. like his best friend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? They had a record shop called Curtis Records. So I used to be in there too. Oh, right, shit, that's Mad what's up. stuff. Mad stuff in there. Like I got... Uh, uh, my daddy got pictures with Jay Z and Dame Dash. Cause that's when you had to come to the mom and pop stores when you came to the city. You had to go yeah. to those little those little record stores. To, you know what I'm saying? That Sound autographs. Yeah, yeah. That, was the mo- that was like the mixtape. If you think about Hell it, yeah. In a sense, like you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, for sure. Those spots was you know housing all the music. Yeah. And then you know them big chain um, uh, stores like Kmart. Hell and yeah. People like that. They seen the market. Yeah. And, you and know, they, they took knew, over. That they bitch. knew they had more money to kind of bully it. They Man. took it over. Like those are the things. It was nigga. That should be a uh, fucking. That should be a fun experience going to a, a fucking music store, dog. Yeah. Get, you, you got posters, you got cassettes, you got motherfucking CDs. They selling singles with the instrumentals on them bitches. Like, Man, nigga. It was, a, it was a, speaking of posters, it used to be a poster in there, a little Kim. You remember nigga, the poster oh yeah, when she squatted down? Yeah. When I was young, nigga, that was like, I don't know, that probably my first, no, you know, no homo, probably my first hard on, man. Look at yeah. that thing, you right? Hell yeah. I'm looking at those like, damn, like that was just damn. <laughs> yeah. Like, you Hell know, yeah. let me keep it, let me keep it kind of little, though, but it was, it was. No, no, for it sure. Was, it, was, it was, you know. Like I said, dog. Yeah, that, that that was some good energy off that motherfucker poster. But <laughs> hey, facts. But the one facts. thing, the fun thing about it though, the funny thing about it though, I told this story before on this motherfucker. You remember that Jan Jackson album cover when he, her titties out, but my man, somebody behind her covering them up. Yeah. So this album cover, my mama had this album, dog, and for some reason that bitch went missing. You know what I'm saying? It went missing. Me and my cousins been chilling the whole time, bro. <laughs> Next thing you know, she found the motherfucker album cover. In the sink, under the sink. Mm-hmm. Like, why the fuck is my album covering the bathroom under the sink? <laughs> Nigga, my cousin be going that bitch going to work on that motherfucker Jack Jack's album. <laughs> <laughs> Like nigga, he oh, probably okay. fucked up. He like, I can't return this. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> and we in apartment building. He ain't got that bitch. But he in the liked bathroom. it too much to throw it away. So he <laughs> like, I gotta find a stash. <laughs> put that bitch under the motherfucker door. It was just a CD, nigga. No, the, the CD in the case, nigga. The motherfucking little uh, uh, picture part gone, nigga. Like. Damn, yeah. and then I remember I used to take those and put those on my wall as posters, spin up posters, dog. Okay. Uh, you take the album, the little uh, motherfucking shit, post, post that bitch on the wall, nigga, you be good mm-hmm. to go, dog. Man, them albums used to be sweet, man. I used to read the credits that, and shit. Yes. You can when you open up an album, you can read, you see all the pictures. Man. You can see like it was sweet. Like Hell, yeah. I wish like I like how the game transformed and stuff like that. But I wish some stuff could just still stay the stay the same. Hell yeah. I feel like I wish hard copies was still a thing. Like man. with the albums. Like I wish that was still a thing. Just opening them I bitches, wish, though. I even like... wish Blockbuster was still a thing. Hell yeah, nigga. That's no that's lie. Shit, that should be I, mean, fun, I like though. Netflix. I like Netflix, yeah. but like it was just the you know, sometimes the it's the process. The experience yeah. of going there, renting that bitch. Getting the game, you know, fuck around like, damn, this bitch about to be late. Damn, like, <laughs> it's just all that kind of shit. Netflix is just the, you need to go over there, boo boo. You go through the shit. Do, do. Yeah, the yeah. convenience is awesome. I'm not gonna yeah, lie. Yeah, you in the crib. <laughs> that was genius. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. To you. And then now you got the fire stick, nigga. So if you got that bitch jail broke, nigga. You just, you just everything, nigga. everything you there. Whenever we, I'm like, I told my son like, nigga, you got it easy. You can watch what you want, play what you want. You ain't got to move. No, you go, nigga. You can buy a game at the crib, nigga. And, and, like, dog, dog, you can right buy there. a game at the crib. Duh. That's so crazy to me. You ain't man. got nigga. You ain't got you you nigga. You go Uber Eats, nigga. I wish that all this shit was around when I was a kid, bro. Like my generation was our generation was the last to have that real childhood. Like to see that nostalgic stuff, Hell like yeah. the VCRs, and, Hell yeah. and the Walkmans, and recording and, and, shit. And, uh, yeah, can't have no tight jeans on. Put the Walkman. You know what though? You can't. <laughs> you can't. Not the Walkman. <laughs> that was it. That's you know. I think about it. Damn. Now that I think about it. Yeah. 
the Jabo pocket like it was made for <laughs> Wolfman. I ain't going to lie to you. That bitch is wild as hell. Jabo, to this day, nigga, is the, be- is the best jeans that ever came out, dog. And them bitches was, was thick, nigga, so you man, won't get what? cold, nigga. Man, every couple- time I put Jabos on, I felt ten times tougher. Man, hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the only reason I don't know about you, the only reason I got Jabos was because of cash money. Oh, word. They were talking about that shit. I think that's what it was. They had the, the Reebok, what mine, what today? Reebok oh. Classics and Jabos was all fucking Cash Money Hot Boys. Okay, yeah. And with the white tee, nigga, you was mm-hmm. shit, you was a hot boy, nigga. Yeah. That's how I felt. See, I never knew that's where the trend came from. I just seen the old the cats around yeah. wearing it and then nah, I started don't, rocking it. Don't get me wrong, I think it was like before that, but, but how it I probably got my, was them yeah. though. For everybody wanted to be a hot boy. Man, like, hell yeah. Hell I yeah. Had, I had Jabos. Man, what black, what black ones? I even, yeah. well, I remember with Jabot, so hard, I had the purple Jabot. <laughs> and then you had the little straps around it, when they say the middle Jabot shit, so it got some blue jeans. I'm sorry, what, I you, never wore them. I, I have a pair of them bitches, though. I did not like them. I, I ain't gonna be, lie. No disrespect to you, I used to hate the niggas that wore them. I used to be like, <laughs> why would you buy them? I ain't think but I, I ain't gonna lie to you, it's so fast statement I be wearing too, though. I be like, niggas be like, D, come on, no, that, that, that ain't the swag right Duh. now. <laughs> but no, though, Jabot, though, that was my, that was like a little thing. I like, Arthur Dodger. Yeah, what's that? Uh, uh, it was like a, a clothing line, okay. too. You okay, know, they okay, had like okay. the pants and stuff. With They had a lot of rhinestones yeah. on their stuff, though. I remember they had motherfucking Iceberg and shit, though. Oh, Iceberg. You know what? That was before, that was before yeah. my time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When, iceberg. when you graduate? Uh, high school? Yeah. Uh, 2010. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Damn, damn. I'm a lot older. Shit. <laughs> I graduated <laughs> before and shit. I forgot, yeah. Because when you was at the gym, yeah. you was a you you was was, little homie. I was, yeah, yeah. Hell, yeah. 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 Hell, yeah. Because yeah. 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 hey, Iceberg was my shit. And that, that shit was expensive and ugly, dog. Yeah. That motherfucking uh, results... It was like some fake fubu shit. Yeah. Like, nigga, a whole bunch of bullshit, dog. Niggas wore iceberg. It was like, what's wrong with this nigga? He got no iceberg. Iceberg clothes, hell yeah. That's the first yeah. thing you think about when you hear iceberg. Duh, for real. <laughs> so once you got your own ear, though, like you said what you like from your mom and your pops, dog. Yeah. Once you got your own ear for that shit, dog, I started liking music. Who was the niggas you listened to back then? When I was in high school, I listened to a lot of Currency, Wiz Khalifa. Duh, hell Kid yeah. Kid Cudi. Hell yeah. Uh... Who else I listen to? I used to listen to even UK artists like this dude named Dizzy Wright. Mm-hmm. I used to listen to Nora Jones. I used to listen to a lot of people. I used to be like, dog, yeah. I really fuck with different music. Like Hell it yeah. was naturally. On but that's my how it own. should be. I was just exploring music and you know, you know, l- listening to different sounds and shit like that. Yeah. And I feel like probably that's why it's it's, it's a little easier for me to come up with certain things. Dog, that's how it be, bro. That. You know what I'm saying? Cause you ain't just listen to one fucking thing. Yeah, that's I how Snoop be. I, I try not to put myself in a uh, in a box. Yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah, dog. So, I ask everybody this question, bro. Give me an album or a song that just take you back to a certain point in your life. Every time you hear, you think about this this one moment in your life, bro. An uh, album or a song just take you back. Like, damn, I remember I had Keisha at the crib when this song was on. Like, every oh, time you hear a song, nigga, you think about Keisha. Uh, like, <laughs> let me see what's the song that I got that. Or it could be like I said, a whole a whole album, one or two. What's the song? Gangsta Paradise by uh Coolio. <laughs> Listen, one time I you know, I lived in the ghetto, some nigga came and shot the block up. No got shit to do with my family. Yeah. You know, we ain't like that. We just live sometimes <laughs> shit, niggas. But yeah. uh but they came, shot the neighborhood up. And I remember Gangsta Paradise playing like before it happened, right? Yeah. <laughs> So every time I listen to Gangsta Paradise, bro, think, I, I can't kind of put my nerves on edge a little bit. <laughs> so that's that's probably like my like that's just one memory. Uh, like living in the Gangsta Paradise, paradise. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> dog, funny. money at the money. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, nigga, that's that nigga. That shit gonna forever make him ooh, some motherfucking money, dog. Ooh, ooh. The motherfucking beat and that everything. Beat so that beat was crazy, cold, bro. It's spooky. Hell and yeah. Sweet though, at the same time, like I ain't never. That dude, like that's a beat you can play. Like, say if you have, like, a mixer or something, Hell then yeah. you can have that plan and shit, Hell and yeah. it kind of, like, it won't drown nothing out. Hell yeah. like That's a crazy-ass motherfucking song, dog. Speaking of, like, Julio and, and, and music back then and old CDs, dog, rest in peace, motherfucking DMX, man. Oh, yeah, R.I.P. drop his shit. <laughs> rest in peace, DMX, man. To me, before he even passed away, I always said that DMX is in my personal top five. Yeah. My personal, like, for my personal shit, dog. So, like... How would you as a uh, was you ever was you a DMX fan like like fucking with him when you was growing up and shit though? Yeah, I like X. Yeah, yeah I was a DMX fan. I, I I really um I used to play this game. Uh, you remember Def Jam Vendetta? Yeah, yeah. yeah I remember that, my brother that, had I used that to shit. play that shit hard, <laughs> man. Yeah. I I got hip to a lot of DMX there. Yeah, that's where I started like listening to him, and then I went into a rabbit hole of him, and I. I don't know too much of his old old stuff. Like yeah. you know, some people probably know like shit that he was like, no, he was twenty four when he released hell this. Yeah, hell yeah. He released this in his granny basement. <laughs> you 
know. Hell yeah, for sure. Yeah, I do, but you know, I ain't like that. But I definitely know a, a couple of his songs. Yeah, you know but it, it's just fucked up with him, dog. Because that nigga was just man. Once you get hooked on to drugs, bro, like yeah. you know, well, I don't call weed a drug, but shit outside of that. That shit uh, uh, keep you on on hold for a long time. Yeah, man. That shit it is will, so... man. And 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 it's it's real sad though. Like yeah, what happened yeah. to him and shit. Bro. And like that nigga was that nigga though, cause you gotta think he was doing the movies hard. Yeah. He was yeah. dropping albums, nigga. Two platinum albums in one year, bro. Yeah. Like to me, like he and my personal. Like and I hate when niggas get mad at your personal top five, cause it's your personal top five. Yeah. What's your personal top five, bro? Like um, outside the the norm, or if it ain't the norm, what is it? Like, my personal top five. Who you fuck with, like? Mm -hmm. Cause my shit, my shit is is pop, uh -huh. is Wayne, uh -huh. Nas, uh -huh. Snoop, and uh -huh. then DMX. Now okay. Jay Z and Biggie is right after that because I'm. This is the people who I like and I love and I rock with. Who you like? Yeah. Too, exactly. Cause niggas will be calling you in the comments yeah. like, nigga, how you leave out this that? Yeah. Like, nigga, this is who I like, man. Like mm -hmm. these I my like, niggas. I like uh, I like Jay. Yeah. Uh, I like Mace. Yeah. I like uh, uh, Biggie. Okay. Uh, who else? Uh, two more top five. Because it's like, I hate when I had to get narrowed down. <laughs> oh, yeah. To the last two uh, and yeah. shit. <laughs> uh, so you said uh, you got Jay Pop, I mean, Jay, Mace, Biggie. Yeah. Uh, 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 what's the other name? Um, Lupe. Yeah. Lupe Fiasco was, yeah, that's, that's my nigga, dog. And, uh, and Royce. Royce, hell, Royce, Roy, no, Royce is a nigga who just gets slept on to me. Now, Royce I, gotta go though. Like, he, uh, like niggas that. don't mention him enough like they should. To me, he like one. He the greats. Yeah, like his pen game crazy. Hell yeah. Like it's I a, like like really, I be listening to his song. Like be, I just listen to shit. Like definitely with him and uh the nine porter. Yeah, yeah, when yeah. They yeah. get the linking up and, and and that whole little that little chemistry gets popping. Yeah. They be hell coming yeah. up with some shit. Hell and of yeah. course, when he do stuff with Prime, yeah, you know he always going crazy. Hell yeah, hell yeah. He that motherfucker. Uh, 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 um, what's that shit? Book of uh. Booker Ryan. Booker Ryan. Nigga, yeah. that shit was hard. Yeah, he was going. That shit was hard. And and, and, and I, I think his latest one, uh, Book of the, uh, the Allegory, I mean. Yeah, 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 uh, yeah. He uh, produced, I think he produced all of that. Yeah, hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? So hell he yeah. get into his producer bag too. So that, Yeah, because that Booker Ryan, we was talking about addiction. That's when he was kind of like talking about how he was addicted to, you know, alcohol and all that junk. Yeah. And he stopped doing that shit. Yeah. Yeah, I guess that was like his first uh, sober album mm -hmm. and shit. And, and speaking of like DMS passing away, bro, like, like nigga on some and I don't know too sensitive shit, but do you care like how you remember once you leave this bitch though? Like you ever think about some shit like I do. Yeah. That's why I try to be a good person in the world, man. Hell yeah. You know, um <clears throat> as much as I can, bro. Yeah. I try to be a good person, man. And Got I'm, to. I'm humble already, you know, but like I, I try to be a good steward because that's my old bird taught me. She said yeah. she like man, son, be a good steward out here. Cause, yeah, for sure. Because that energy you put out, that's what you are gonna get back. Hell yeah, hell you know yeah. Especially saying? like you said, you got kids, you putting yeah. that shit to them, making sure that you know what I'm saying your son be be you know what I'm saying a, a, a piece of you, and make sure you you pass them on some good games, some good knowledge and shit. So once he grew up, and once you do leave this earth, you ain't got to worry about it. it's your son or your kids gonna be good. Exactly. You feel me? Because you ain't fed them so much game. Like, like I know your pops and mom probably fed you game, mm -hmm. so they good with you. You, like you know saying we know we did what we did and shit he got taken from here yeah, yeah, so that's how yeah, it should be dog exactly I, 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 I think about that shit a little bit too much like damn i gotta make sure i'm a you know saying show love i like showing niggas love while he's still here and not wait for niggas to pass away and all that that's shit real. i hate that shit bro like that's damn real. like like you you couldn't say that shit to them niggas while they were still here because sometimes shit, you never know that that might be that little that little shit that keep them going hell yeah that energy they need they that positive need that shit. energy they need inside of them mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying so for sure, for sure, because I ain't going to put the person out there, dog, but my baby, my baby girl is four months, and this person was complaining about, like, you know what I'm saying, uh, the baby crying when, she, when um, he or she picked him up, but my thing is, nigga, she going, he or she going through some shit, <laughs> so, like, the baby, babies feel that energy, too, bro, like, hold on, you ain't right, cuz, they yeah. can't trust, they just going to start crying, like, they don't, wanna, they don't want to soak your energy in, hell yeah, Ooh, bad hell, back for a minute, hell yeah, like, hold on, cuz, <laughs> <laughs> He's like, Tree, what, what? get this motherfucker blood. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to be a good baby out here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, what was that movie you said? Great baby. Damn. It was a movie. Oh, yeah, it was Kevin Hart stand up tomorrow. So the great baby, he had he had babysit the baby. 
And so that's a great baby right there. And the baby oh. was just doing everything, changing his own diaper, like. Oh, damn. <laughs> that's a great baby. If my son can change his own diaper, oh, my God. <laughs> dog, that, that, should be, that should be dope, dog. Great but, baby. Man, back to, back to <laughs> music, man. You said you was, you know what I'm saying, skipping school, man. I mean, it's not skipping school, but skipping practice. Don't put that smut on my neck. Yeah. Wild over here. Yeah. <laughs> Going to the motherfucking guitar center and shit, dog. But, like, how old was you when you really wanted to, like, be like, damn, this music is what I want to do? As far as like as a uh, artist, oh, like with with artists, oh, yeah. um, probably like uh twenty one, yeah. twenty two ish. Yeah. So before that, you just kind of playing around with it. Yeah, I was yeah. just playing with. I was just learning. Cause my 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 mom had um, uh, cause my old dude had took a little vacation. Yeah. So my mom had got me a little. Him and my mom had got me a little uh, uh pro tool. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Hook up or whatever. Yeah. So um, uh, once I got the pro tool hook up. From the same guitar center that yeah. I used to skip at, yeah. so I uh, I was just messing with it. So yeah. at first I was putting like Jeezy records, all kind of different records, and I was just playing with the button, seeing what this dude, yeah, this dude, I, this dude. I work and shit. So years progressed, years progressed. I was really on it. Like I knew I was just, I was really in tune because it'd be like uh, uh, middle of summer, July. It's yeah. hot, hot as hell upstairs. Yeah, yeah. I'm sweating bullets, <laughs> but I'm still in front of that junk. Like, oh, the junk cold. Then mm -hmm. I had started like smoking weed too a little bit on the low. Yeah. So my mom at work, I had like, I had a little system. <laughs> I put the, put the uh, incense at the end of the stairs, open the window of the stairs. And I'm smoking. I'm thinking I'm growing as hell. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? But, but, but they uh, had a little system in that bitch. Yeah, man. And, Circulate and that motherfucking smell to get out the Once I started doing that, I did some shows with my cousin. Yeah. Oh, I should have gave him the flower with so many people, though. But uh, <laughs> my cousin, his name is uh, uh, Bone Man. Okay. Uh, we, But, you know, he go by William Caesar now. Yeah. But uh, he did Cash Rules. I don't know if y'all ever heard of COI. No, no, Cash no. Cash Rules, everything around me. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. Just another yeah, 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 so yeah, oh, yeah, hell yeah. So that's my cousin. And uh, uh, and my barber, okay, you know, uh, at the time, uh, yeah. that uh, uh, did that song. So yeah. one day he, when I heard that song, he he was up the block. I said, man, I want to get on the track with you. He like, he like, get you a sixteen together, yeah, and then you could get on there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, all right. <laughs> I closed the door. I'm like, the fuck is a sixteen? Think <laughs> <laughs> about a sixteen. So at first I'm thinking he talking about giving me 16 words together. So I done went and made and, and, and made 16 words. So I, <laughs> I get 16 words. It's probably like it's probably like four or five lines, right? So I tell him I say yeah, cause I got my 16. He's like, all right, let me hear it. Boom! I rap like five bars. Like do 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 do. What you think? <laughs> He's like keep going. I'm like. You said 16, nigga, what you mean? The 16 words. Now, I'm thinking like that. You know what I'm saying? He's like, no, cuz, 16 bars. One, two, three, one. I'm like, oh, okay, all right. So Duh. he schooled me on that. So then I was like, okay, boom. So I, that's what Damn, made me start wanting to write. I know it's hilarious, but Duh. that's what made me want. I'm bullshit that, that, not, bro. No, when you be all right, that'd be a shit to you. Yeah. I'm like, what the fuck does this nigga what the fuck is he talking about? <laughs> you know, a nigga try to be cool and shit. That's why that cool shit kids. Cool shit don't get you nowhere. You ask questions. I don't give a fuck. Hell yeah. If you don't know, hey, yo, cuz. <laughs> what I should have done was, cuz, what is it, 16? <laughs> you feel me? That would have made it, you know, Duh. make. Way more sense. You hey, feel yeah, that nigga say, like, like, where was that shit? Like, nigga, <laughs> I gave you sixteen words. <laughs> I gave you sixteen words. Duh. Dude, 16. But yeah, Duh. but, but I, when I started doing that, I started really taking the music serious and shit. And I, and I, and I started recording, learning how to record myself, and kind of making myself sound all right. Like at yeah. least, at least a little like where I could take it in front of somebody and be yeah. like, you hear this? Yeah. So I really want. So the whole time in high school, I'm at the crib working on that rapping. Woo -woo. Damn. And like uh, when I got in 12th grade, like it got in 12th grade, my little high school sweetheart, mm. me and my boy who I who with, we yeah. all came over there to the crib, we upstairs smoking, yeah. Yeah, yeah. and I and I showed them yeah. what I've been working on. Yeah. Now I was in there messing with melodies and shit. I'm like, man, them niggas they don't try to hear me with this shit, yeah, man, yeah. singing and all that yeah. stuff like that. So uh, I start I start doing. I showed my man and, <laughs> and, and his girl, his chick at the time. She's like, oh, that's kind of sweet. Yeah. So it kind of did something yeah. to myself. Yeah. Cause once you know, so a chick, once I yeah. once. My phone would say, right? Oh, no, say, was oh, a chick oh. like your shit? Yeah. yeah. You legit. Yeah, so once I do that, I'm like, it boosted my self esteem. So I'm like, shit, I just start clicking away. <laughs> How'd it sound? How'd it sound? How'd it sound? They're like, oh, you do, you do, do. So my homegirl, so I started doing it, kept doing it, kept yeah. doing it. Then I fast forward back to my cousin. Uh, yeah. We went out to a, uh, 
uh, what was that shit? We did a show for him. Mm -hmm. He had like a show or whatever. I did the show, and I fell in love when I did the live show. I was like, oh yeah, it's on. Like, yeah. I want to do this shit. Like, Hell yeah. This a vibe. It was natural. I was up there like, yeah. I like. I stole something from Wiz Khalif. I was like, <laughs> uh, he did. I seen one of his shows. He was like, uh. Roll that shit, light that shit, yeah. smoke it. So yeah. I did that, and everybody ate it up. Yeah. I was like, oh, so I need to go home and come up with a little chance. And yeah. these motherfuckers gonna eat it up, and it's like a vibe. It's like I'm, I'm speaking. I can speak well. Come on, Hell let's yeah. do it. Yeah, for and sure. Since then, I was like, oh yeah, I'm a rapper. Like this is my yeah. thing. I'm doing my music. I already, like I said, I was already musical, musically yeah. inclined yeah, yeah, yeah. by doing like with your dad and marching band. Yeah, yeah fuck with my dad and them, and then doing like marching band music, uh, 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 concert band, and all that shit. Hell so, yeah. Yeah, that shit, that shit dope as hell. That shit funny as fuck, though. Yeah. Nigga said, all right, cuz. Yeah. 16? Yeah. Man. <laughs> nigga, went, <laughs> nigga went in the crib like, dog, 16. This nigga on 16 words? Yeah. Nigga, it <laughs> gotta be. That gotta be to a me, that was the logic. I'm like, yeah. Yeah, it's logical, nigga. It's 16 real. words, nigga. For like, real, dog. <laughs> now, you, uh, you know, say you go by the name Mojo D, bro. Like, yeah. How you get that name? And, like, was it some uh, uh, earlier names you went by before you uh, you came up with that name? Of course. I had, like, three different names. Nigga. Yeah. I was, like, on the Diddy shit. Like, yeah. I, I had so, diff so many different names. I was, I was a uh, star cash yeah. at first. Yeah. I don't know where I got that from. <laughs> yeah. I just was like, I'm a star and I want to get cash. <laughs> and then, and then I, then, then, and then I, and then I, and then I, and then I changed it to uh, uh, when I started doing the backpack wave. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I changed the dash to Karate Kid because I wanted something weird and some <laughs> yeah. motherfuckers to be like, oh, be like who, who is that? Yeah. Who is this guy? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then I did uh, after that. Uh, I had an uncle who passed away, which was my dad brother. Oh, they yeah, used to call yeah. him Pac-Man. Hell yeah. Uh, so I called him. Uh, hey, recipes, uh, Unc, man. Yeah, so I, I was like, uh, my name Pac-Man. That's my name, Pac-Man. Yeah, yeah. So I was going by Pac-Man for a minute. Okay. Then, me and my little homegirl I was messing with, yeah. I had, me and her had, like, we was kicking. I had met her, woo -woo. Yeah. never went on a date with her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We was, this raunchy as hell. We was having sex, all that shit yeah. like that. Then uh, uh, she had told me uh, one day, she just, I don't know if she came to her senses type shit, but she was like, like, you never took me on no date. Yeah. You never do nothing like that. Like, only thing I do is come over here, because I always, when she come over, yeah. like, bitch, you calling me 2 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, like, yeah, shit, yeah, stop yeah. giving me a white castle. So, like, <laughs> it's, it's Hell over. yeah. Like, Hell yeah. yeah. <laughs> 2 o'clock sure. in the morning. You know, you smoke a blunt before you go to sleep. You wake up starving. I don't care if you just ate a full quarter Hell meal. Yeah. Hell like, yeah. It's 2 o'clock. Bring Hell me some yeah. burgers. So anyway, she's like, you never did none of this or whatever. It's like you put some type of mojo on me or something. <laughs> I was like, that sounds kind of cool a little bit. Hell yeah. I think I got the mojo. Like, I, I'm thinking pimp now. I'm yeah. like, I put the mojo on this bitch. Like, type, I mean, on this lady. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> so uh, uh. He said, lady. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, so uh, that's how I went. I was like, oh yeah, mojo D, I'm mojo. Yeah. And I started playing with it. Like, I talk shit like daddy mo. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Playing a little shit yeah, like that yeah. just to put a twist on it. But yeah, that's where it came from. That shit funny as hell. Nigga say Mojo D. Bro, I thought that story might go way left. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> like, you gave me that Mojo D. <laughs> I bet. I mean, oh, it's so many, it's so many uh, yeah. words, you know, you are, yeah. you know. Hell yeah, that shit funny. Too. You know, not the uh, brag. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies. <laughs> I got one good round. Yeah. I'm a real nigga. You know, all that. Oh, I'm going to hit you then, wipe it off. Yeah. Hit, you know, take no. a little drink right back. No. Yeah. I'm hitting you. I'm going to get, I'm going to want something to eat. Yeah, well, yeah. And I'm going to sleep. Dog. Now in the morning, yeah. give it a little chance to reset. Yeah, 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 morning yeah, time yeah, is yeah. ready for you. <laughs> now listen. Dog. That's, like, dog. That's how I mean. Hey, hey, look. But in your head, like with my wife, dog, my head, I'm, I'm, we, we, we know we do our thing. I'm like, all right, I'm going I'm to I'm go another round. Yeah. So you like, shit, nigga, who the fuck you playing with? Man, <laughs> Fuck around your ears start ringing. You be like, Ooh, my ears ring. I gotta lay down. Hell yeah. I got you. No, I gotta lay down. You be that motherfucker like, hey, listen, I know I ain't give you my best. I know this. Hey. <laughs> like Chris Tucker in this bitch. Hey. But I got you tomorrow. Right. You gotta you gotta tell me like you gotta read me, baby. Like I tell a girl, read me. You gotta know. <laughs> like I read you, read me. Like, yeah, get them drunk. Uh, too much. Uh-uh. Take that away. <laughs> you know that it uh, <laughs> you gotta read me. <laughs> Work me like I be trying to work you. Shit, no, God damn. That shit funny as hell, dog. God damn, that shit that funny as hell. <laughs> hey, that, he ain't fuck with you, is it? We got no, heat on. Okay, I'm good. I'm good. I'm comfy. Okay, baby. I'm Make comfy. sure because he be the bitch sweat like, damn, nigga. No, no, I'm good. He burned my motherfucking calves. You would know once my face started looking wet. <laughs> looking like an NFT uh, digital piece of art. <laughs> dog, now, uh, you say you was recording shit on your own, dog. Mm -hmm. But give me a story about your first time in a studio, like a recording studio, somebody else's shit. 
Oh, first time I ever recorded was at my man Steve shit. He yeah. go by the name of Spit Diverse. Yeah. Uh, he still made music too. He an engineer yeah. and a uh, producer. He uh, he had a uh, set up in his basement. And uh, like how you got this pop filter right here? Yeah. His pop filter wasn't this. It was like a, a, a seat cushion. Yeah. With some chicken wire on top of that bitch. Goddamn, oh. duh. That's what with, a, with, with a computer that I don't know where what year it was from. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nigga, old nigga, shit. Nigga, that bitch was old. Like it was one of the first joints, like a beta computer or something. Like yeah, the yeah. one they were trying to see how computers work with. Yeah. So uh anyway, uh uh we rapping, I get to doing that, we rapping, woo woo. I say some sweet shit, but he knew how to work that shit. Like yeah. he knew how to make you sound sweet on there. I'm like, damn man. <laughs> yeah. And you would be surprised. It was like he had so much shit on the desk, but it was all for the music. Yeah. This shit was working, but anyway, I, I'm going there. I'm, I'm going. Yeah. And, and and that's when I took it to like to my neighborhood and showed people yeah. in my neighborhood that yeah, I yeah. Because I wasn't showing people. Yeah, just to get, see how he, how he was rocking with, how he was fucking with it. Yeah. Now speaking of studio shit, though, what's some shit? What's some shit that you need in your studio sessions, dog? Like, do you need chicks, weed, drink, order, nobody, people? Most of the time. Uh, I don't really like nobody in the studio with me. Yeah. I just like like the smoke. Yeah. Water for sure. Hell Probably yeah. something warm. Gotta have some water and shit. Uh, uh, what else? Uh, that's really it. Yeah. I don't really have too many essentials. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Just for whatever sure. I need to get the job done. Hell you yeah. Know, whether it's hard drives or all this different type of stuff like that. Hell yeah. That's all I. Hell yeah. Now, dog, real quick, cause I took a piece <clears throat> of this song I was listening to from your ass, dog. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna play this shit so, be, so people can hear it real quick. All right. But like, nigga. <laughs> oh, what the what the Yeah. So is this shit? Uh, you you released a song uh, called uh, 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 Miss Phone Call. Yeah. And that shit, dog. That shit hard, dog. So I had made sure I recorded the piece. I wanted to play that bitch, dog, real quick, nigga. Only a couple, only yeah, about a minute, dog. All right. You got the headphones. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this shit, cause the thing about it is relatable in the bitch, dog. Yeah. Oh man. You know man. what I'm saying? Let me get this. It's relatable. It's relatable as fuck. So usually I don't do this shit. You the first nigga I did this shit. Play a little piece of it. Oh shit! Let, I'm making history. <laughs> let the niggas hear a song. Yeah. Shit, dog. I love that. I love so, that. I'm about to uh, connect it right now, dog. So this is a a piece of his song called Miss Call, man. I was in the crib vibing at work, vibing to this bitch. Turn shit a little bit. Shit hard, dog. <laughs> First I draw a validation, try to get your validation. See your call, I pick it up. Baby, ain't no hesitation. I guess I was stupid thinking me and you can fucking make it. But this past situation really gave me confirmation. Cause it was self-realization. You was not the one for me. On some DMA shit. What these bitches want from me? I don't know what's going on, but took your insecurities. Had to leave your ass alone. To protect my energy. All these shit for one me. Man, that's some true as hell though. <laughs> Real shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bro, that's it. That's that's from one missed phone call, man. Miss phone call, me. And the crazy thing about that shit, bro, when I was listening to that shit, cause I was at work and shit, dog, listening to it and shit like that, man. And it's crazy because. Nigga, really, shit can really turn sour off a of fucking missed phone call, bro. Man, listen. <laughs> For no, male and female. No lie. No lie. So you have, I know you probably been in, those, in that situation, bro. Yeah, for like, sure. And, and you probably been in that situation where you was calling the motherfucker like, hold on. I done been, I done been <laughs> a nigga on that device. What the fuck she ain't picking this phone up for? Hell yeah. Or, damn, nigga, we outside. Why the nigga ain't picking the phone up? Type of shit. Like, I definitely done been in that situation. Duh, so, you, so, so I, I'm, um, I'm quite sure you been in that shit where it, it haven't fucked up a relationship, dog. Like, like you can't, like, they, like, damn, you can't, cause like, for instance, yeah. I'm doing the show right now, so my my wife should know I'm doing the show. Mm -hmm. So if you calling, I'm gonna keep on hitting that end button. Yeah. Goddamn. So she, if she ain't saying, <laughs> she gonna be thinking like, what the fuck is going on? Like, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? So a missed phone call can fuck a whole relationship up, bro. Facts. And you could really be doing some dirt bad shit. You could. And really get that missed phone call for real. <laughs> See, when 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 the mind, I feel like how the mind work when it's an unknown thing happening. Yeah. It's like with COVID. When your mind unknown, like you your 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 mind is t can go anywhere. Nigga, for real. <laughs> like you don't know where it go. Like it depends on your mood. You know what I'm saying? Like Hell you yeah. might fuck around like, no, oh, this bitch cheating. Like, <laughs> yeah. No, this ain't right. Like, or you might be like, oh, they, give they probably just chilling. They'll call me back. Hell yeah. Hell you yeah. Know, it depends on it, it really depends on like 
uh history in a relationship too. Yeah, for sure. You know what I'm Hell saying? Yeah. Not just making no relationship type of questions type of shit, but yeah, yeah, yeah. it take, you know, shit like yeah, that. Yeah. Nigga, cause I ran I remember um I was on the the um the the end of calling. So, you know what I'm saying, me and the chick that I was with, you know what I'm saying, many moons ago. <laughs> I had uh, I was living in Texas, bro. So we we planned on moving to Texas together. I moved first, me and my uh, my son, that I was gonna come back and send for her, you feel me? So Nigga, in the meantime, she went out, you know, saying typical, she always go to the fucking club. I hated that shit, but fuck, that's another story. But, <laughs> nigga, her ass, niggas, okay, club over with. I know what time the club is over, 2 o'clock. So, is it, it's 3, I'm giving you till 3, because you might go make a Coney run, I hop, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, black nigga shit. So, nigga, it's 3.30. Nigga, I'm calling. Not only is that bitch ringing, nigga, that bitch going straight to voicemail, like, that bitch is off. She turned it off, powered off, nigga. Mm -hmm. I don't hear from her ass at 6. Oh, so God. she like, my phone went dead. I'm with my sister. But I'm like, no, fuck that. Fuck that, nigga. You not going to let the phone go dead if you out in these streets, bro. Nah. Like, so that shit, that should have been a red flag. I didn't take that motherfucking penalty flag or nothing. You know what I'm saying? We never do. Mm -hmm. We never do. And I also been a nigga in a, in, a, in, a, in a relationship many moons ago. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, <laughs> that I, I know I'm doing some <laughs> dirt bad shit. I'm not answering the phone. And you see that shit, you like, nigga, damn it. Will you stop? Will you stop fucking calling me? Fucking up my what I got going on right now. Cause now that energy, people probably be like, damn, who the fuck keep blowing your shit out like that? Hell yeah, dog. Hell yeah. So yeah, that shit. That's why as soon as I heard that song, nigga, I just it took me back to them times, dog, when you yeah. was doing dirt bad shit. Yeah, that's what that's what uh, <laughs> that's what made me do made that made that shit. Cause I was on some dirt bad sleeve shit. <laughs> Hell I was yeah. Some, I was on some top sleeve shit. Yeah, yeah I was. Like, damn, all this shit for a missed phone call and me trying to get her to drink my Kool-Aid. Yeah, Knowing yeah. I'm on some bullshit because sure. she did drink my Kool-Aid and yeah, I knew yeah. I was caught and she was on my ass. <laughs> I'm trying to make her feel guilty hard to say, no, you want some bullshit. All this shit, yeah, this bullshit. That's when you go so far with the argument. God, God damn. <laughs> Bro, all this shit. Really though, just like Kevin Hart say, when you really know you got some shit, you be so calm. You're like, okay, go ahead. You done? I'm gonna wait. Hell yeah. You done? Hell yeah. Bust your head. I'm gonna tell this. you this right here. Hell uh, yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. I, say what? Okay. <laughs> Hell yeah. For sure. Now, uh, you just released a video for Hard to Love, dog. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? How, yeah. that song, how that song come about? And uh, is this something you went through as well, dog? Yeah, that was another That was another situation. Most of my songs, uh, most of my songs be kind of like 50-50 um, yeah. in most cases. But Hard to Love, was, as far as like, what I mean by 50-50, meaning like, it be like fabricated yeah, sometimes. Some shit that you or it be like, you yeah. know, just entertainment or some shit for in sure. like real life. Or Hell sometimes, yeah. you know, I, where I mix it together and Hell shit. Hell yeah. So, uh, but hard to love is like a true. Yeah, that was like some true shit. Like you know, yeah, yeah. Uh, I was really. It was just like relationship where it was trust issues again. And, yeah, yeah. And you know how like you like a person, so you keep giving them chance, even if yeah. you're chicken. You like, damn, your crazy ass. Like, yeah, yeah. You, I like you. Like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like I'm here. <laughs> like, look at this shit I'm doing for you. Like, yeah, yeah. you don't. You think I'm doing this for everybody? Yeah, and you, for sure. And that, that let me know what kind of uh, person you think I am. Like, yeah, I'm yeah. just out here treating everybody. Yeah, everybody. Like, yeah, I'm yeah. like Stevie J. Like, yeah, you know what I mean? No disrespect, Stevie J. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So like. Shit like that, but Hell yeah. but uh, uh, yeah, that was a real that was a real moment in yeah, my life for sure. And, and I wrote that shit in two days. Like no, it no, was like one of them. Like it's I, easier when you go through some shit, dog. Like really, it flowed. Like yeah. I really was just sitting there writing it. Like that shit was just coming like, yeah. for two days, and I and I went to go record it, and yeah. I had sat on it for like a month. Yeah, because I was just listening to myself, and then I then I put it out, and yeah. people just ate it up. They were fucking yeah. with it. Now you say I think we said that off camera, dog. This is your uh, the first video you did. Yeah, this was my first official video by myself. Yeah. I had other videos that I did where I was, a, you know, a part of other people's projects and shit like that. But, like, actually, you know, uh, by myself. Yeah. My first one. Okay, that's, yeah, that's yeah. shit hard, too. Yeah. This came I out by what? That. Like like a month ago? Yeah. A month or two ago? Yeah, a month ago. Yeah. And I seen also yeah, uh, when you had dropped it, um, I think it was like the end of last year or something, you had... Uh, Motherfucker Zaytoven on that motherfucker on yep. your live and shit. Yeah, yeah. Nigga got hyped as fuck. Forgot he was on live. Yeah. I'm like, hell yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. That, was, that was genuine as fuck right there. And you and could I, tell he was vibing to I, it. And, yeah. It, that was genuine right there. You know, and I left that up. I could have probably tried to cut it off and shit like yeah, that. Yeah, but no, that but was. But I was like, no, I wasn't. Yeah, that was some hype shit. I'm, um, I'm sharing this with my, uh, hell with yeah. my people. Hell that, yeah. That's that motherfucker. A, me being vulnerable. Shit, I was happy. Hell that shit yeah. made me feel good. Just to see, like, even though, like, you know, I give, I, I got confidence in what I do, yeah. but, like, to see people that. You know, do yeah. shit with people that selling all these records and shit like that. Be like, yeah, I fuck with that. Like that, that shit sound yeah. good. Hell yeah. Like that really do something for you too. Yeah, that make Hell you yeah. want to be like, okay, I, I got to keep going. Hell yeah, for sure it do, dog. Like, it, it should be the, uh, it should be a little shit. Like we said with the whole salute and shit like that. Mm -hmm. It'd be a little shit. Like, damn, I'm, I'm on the right, I'm on the right track and shit like yeah. that, dog. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, just the last thing I'm gonna ask about that shit as far as like 
hard the hard to uh hard to love and all that shit mm-hmm. and shit like miss phone call what's the what's the silliest shit you did to try to keep a chick from leaving you bro uh, what's the silliest shit? I like did? the silliest shit I did, like I told niggas, I did the fake cry and shit. Oh, the fake cry, you know, I, that, that that shit ain't that shit. That shit in the repertoire. Like, finally, dog, I'm nigga. Finally, that, dog, nigga. I'm bringing that shit. That shit is regular. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> always fuck up. I always fuck up, and I just be sad so hard. <laughs> Just to get shit together, but you know, like, I don't know what did. No, I don't know. Yeah, I do shit like that. A nigga, a nigga uh, everybody's been too, been too hard. A nigga, no, a nigga, hell no. Oh, nigga. crying. Nigga, you crazy. <laughs> I'm, I'm in that bitch. <laughs> Making noises. <laughs> <laughs> That's what just kill myself. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, be using that shit like, I'll kill myself without you. Like, I, just, I never said that. No, I, I never said that shit. I never, I never said that. I, I, I be lying in there when I'm crying. I just be, I be trying to dig deep. I <laughs> mean, <laughs> turn your back away like this. I cry like... I just, you know. But nigga, it, it, was, it was I felt dumb as fuck. I was doing that shit, nigga. No attempt, nigga. No touch on the back, no rub. I mean, that bitch like, yeah. Now you mad? <laughs> like, like, damn, this shit ain't working. You you, you put some real tears on. Oh, bro, <laughs> <laughs> this shit ain't working. She, she no, that's it. That I, shit remember, no, I, remember, I remember, I remember, I remember my shorty. I was messing with at this one time. She started crying one time and shit. Yeah. Like I ain't trying. To, I told him like I ain't trying to hear all that cracking out tear shit. <laughs> all that shit. She, you you good though? <laughs> Hell yeah! Like look, sure. like for real though, like the chill though. I was, I was trying, and she was wrong though. I'm coming back like Duh. I'm coming back all like with my with my uh, tail tucked in between Duh. my legs and shit. Like you feel me? Like Duh. you know you got this. Is what I was saying though. <laughs> you can't be coming in late like that. Like you can't be doing that. You know you Duh. explain yourself to her. Right. Yeah, no, like, when a chick start crying, you just feel like damn, I ain't fucked up. I got enough. Then sometimes I be feeling gangster. You know what I'm saying? I go in there, fuck that. I'm standing on this shit. Yeah. Playing the game. Like, <laughs> you ain't hungry. Hell yeah. For sure, dog. Hell yeah, dog. So no, you ain't. You got uh, a couple of singles out, dog. When yeah. when is the uh, when the project coming out, dog? I got yeah. another. I got another single coming out. Uh, called Hit Him Some More. Okay. So, uh, hey, wavy day, man. Yeah. <laughs> I'm that's all I'm doing. But uh, uh, um. Uh, I got a single coming out called Hit Him Some More. Yeah. I got another song coming out after that. I'm doing all singles, by the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Until I, until I feel like I got a, uh, enough fan base to where I want to give them a project, yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't going to even waste my time. Because, oh, so, you know, projects take time. Yeah, you got to roll it you out. You probably don't want to put that shit out and then don't get the and expectations and, don't, you know what I'm saying? and shit like, like that. Don't get the enough <laughs> amount, of, amount of people that's ready to appreciate your, yeah, your body. I can feel that. You know I can what feel I'm that. Saying? So I just give them single, single, single video, nice visual and shit like that. Yeah, see how it go. And then let that build up and then we go from there. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, yeah. That, that makes sense though. That's the, that I forgot. I heard that from somebody who said that that's the thing to do. Like just build your fan base up by just get, slapping them over the head with singles and yeah, shit. Yeah. And then because if you come out with a whole project, you ain't put your you know what I'm saying your blood, sweat, and tears in. Then you don't get like damn. Then nobody really hear that and shit. Nobody really get it. You know because you ain't yeah. really you don't have no people there. Hell yeah. So. Hell yeah! Now it seems like you a bit uh, a bit critic of yourself, dog. Like oh. you critique yourself hard and shit, dog. Man, you know like, what? That's that's my Achilles heel, though. Yeah, at that it, time, bro. Yeah, critiquing myself way too hard. Hell yeah! It, it put me it put me in states of um. Oh yeah, just FYI, don't people out there, please don't critique yourself too crazy. Man. Yeah, because cause like because you could cripple yourself. Hell yeah! For no sure. real talk, like you won't. You, you you always saying shit not ready. It's not ready to get put out in. Sometimes they be ready. Man. Hell yeah. Throw that shit out. This, and throw that shit out. If man. ain't good, you need to know like, damn, okay, bad. I need to work on this. Go back to this. the drum, Hell boy, yeah. You feel me? So who but, else besides yourself, nigga, that can um be like, you know what I'm saying, you would take uh, criticism from and know that it's coming from a good place? Uh, Mom, Dukes, Pops. Yeah. Off the bell. Pops gonna let me know off the bell. Yeah. Shit, you gotta go with the draw board with that. <laughs> I ain't feeling that. What that mean when you say that? It don't, even, it don't even make sense. I wouldn't think it like that. Yeah. I'm like, damn, pop, like, <laughs> nigga took two days right this shit. What you mean it ain't? It ain't it. Ain't it. <laughs> no, hell yeah. But uh, and, and, uh, uh, I got my boys too. Uh, my man Juni, my 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 cousin Kenny. Yeah. Them two. You know, I I call them and tell them like, what y'all think of this? Yeah. You know, they gonna be like. Oh yeah, yeah, I like that or uh, yeah. It was what cool. you mean there? Yeah. What's that? What's this and that? You know, Hell so yeah. it's good to always have people that you know uh, tell you the truth. Yeah, and, for and, sure. And keep it real with you, man. Because I, I hate. I, I always tell the nigga like, even if I don't know him, I'm like, man, I'm about to play you this song. 
Let me know how you feel. Yeah. Don't lie. Yeah. Hell I yeah. always put the don't lie on it. Don't lie, bro. I'm a big dude. Like I'm a big yeah. boy, nigga. Nigga, don't yeah. lie to me. Tell yeah. me the truth, nigga. For like, sure. If you be like, you be like, no, nah, this ain't it. I got this cat from my neighborhood. Uh, he uh, uh, uh his name Fat Real. He he a dude. He, you go over his house and play shit. He be like. I feel like you ain't say that with confidence. Like, yeah. that nigga talk to you like that. Hell yeah. Like, this shit sound like some Biggie mixed with Faith Evans type <laughs> shit. Like, that's how, like, that's how he, that's how he described this shit, like, d describe shit. So, you always probably want to be around people that's... They're going to keep it real. Yeah, keep it yeah, real. Yeah, but not yeah. hating at the same time. And not hate. Hell See, because yeah. people will hate on you yeah. and try to diminish you, you know. But Hell still, yeah. you got to know. Like, at the end of the day, I know what my vision is. And like I say, I'm yeah. confident in what I do to where I know, like, this this good enough. Hell yeah, yeah. This sound good. Hell yeah, like, nigga. Yeah, because you know. yeah, everybody... You all right, I, I, I hear what you're saying, but this I, I don't I don't agree with what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> for sure. So, so shit, you from the city, dog? Yeah. That's the one thing they told me. I said, like, nigga, you you do you sound different from people. You ain't trying to be like, all right. Let me go ahead and get in this Detroit box. Yeah. Let me go yeah. ahead and get the same little beat, the same little cadence and all yeah, that shit, dog. Yeah. Like. Was that some shit you did on purpose, or that's just how you just came out? It's naturally like that. Yeah. I just knew, like, now I'm like, at first I used to try to rap like that. Yeah. Hell and I yeah. couldn't do it. I'm like, I can't rap like that. Hell like, yeah. Shit don't my sound shit right. don't sound. I sound like I, my shit sound. No disrespect, but at the time, I, well, as I supposed to feel, yeah. I supposed to be like, shit, my shit was sounding better than niggas. Yeah. Hell Period. Yeah. You know what For I'm sure. saying? Hell shit. Yeah. I'm, I'm, ice, I'm walking everybody on the track. That's how I feel. Hell you yeah. know what I'm saying? Hell Still yeah. feel that way to this day. I just seen an interview with DMX when he was saying he was right in front of LL Cool. They was like, damn, who you, who you think the hottest rapper on the game? Yeah. Do? I know LL standing right here. He was like, shit, I am. Hell yeah, for no real. disrespect the dog, but shit, I am. <laughs> but that's how you supposed to feel. Hell yeah. Going to, bitch, we going in there. It's friendly fire, but you know we still going in there to, to do to bring the best out of each other. Hell yeah, for and sure. Sometimes putting that little thing in there, uh, bring the best out of them. Yeah, hell yeah. Cause they say that shit like they say that shit with um. I think Wayne said that shit though with the Hot Boys. Like I think whoever had like the last, either it was the first or the last verse. That means that they shit was the best. Okay. So nigga, it was competition. Every time you went in the studio, like all right, bet. I gotta make sure I got the best verse in this bitch right. and shit like that. So I'm the anchor. I'm yeah. the last person. Hell yeah. Right here. yeah. And that's gonna but that's gonna make a good song if everybody going that bitch like that. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like nigga, I'm about to destroy this nigga. Mm -hmm. And speaking of working with niggas from the city and just working with niggas, like who were some people from the city that you would want to fuck with, dog, as far as like on some song shit? If uh, it's anybody. Oh shit, it's like uh shit. I wanna work with Big Sean. Yeah. I wanna work with uh uh I even work with Side Out Baby. Yeah. I work with uh uh, T Grizzly, Peasy. Hell yeah, I just payroll. Got, payroll, not to me. Payroll, like that nigga, one of the hardest niggas in the city. To me, mm -hmm. dog. Payroll can rap. Hell yeah. Payroll be talking this shit. He like, he like that conservative. Like that's me. Hell like yeah. a nigga that's kind of like laid back. Chill. I'm having fun and cracking jokes and I talk my shit. But like yeah. for the most part, overall, I'm chill and laid back. Hell yeah. You know, and that's kind of like the same kind of vibe. For sure. You get for sure. From him and um, it's a lot of other artists here. Uh. Uh, it's a singer her name Charity. I want to work. With oh yeah, her. I heard her. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, who else? Uh, I want to work with Cash Dial. Yeah, I want to yeah. work with the city. I want to yeah, rub yeah. hands with people yeah, that are yeah. popping. I want to work. I want to work, too, I work with show. Cash Dial in two ways. Cause you know I just started LLC. It's called uh, Fill Me Up. I just, <laughs> I just be massaging and shit like that. <laughs> oh, if you look out for me, you know the, the first thirty days on me. <laughs> You know what I'm saying, Cash? First 30 days on me, you get full body massages. You know what I'm saying? I do, I do do them naked because that's just my, that's my, that's how I do them. Because, you know, you know, I read a book about India. You know, India know about the sex, the Kama Sutra and shit. I, that's the best way. That's how you release all the energy. But anyway, I'm going to talk too much. But this time. Hey, hey you going to be. My man, kid, he'll be. Uh, he, made whole, he made a whole video about motherfucking Karen's dog. Yeah, dog. I heard about that kid. You know, I, yeah. Yeah, I don't really. Yeah, you say you, no disrespect. You know, I just, you know, I don't like how he going at my girl. Like <laughs> Cash Dial deserve me. I'm 6'6", six, six, Cash Dial. We walk, I can rap. I can make music. We walk into the spot yeah. together. Like, I'm like Jay-Z of Detroit. Hell in a sense, you feel me? Like, yeah, just yeah. come on. We no, can nigga say, do my B. Nigga say, I got LLC. Full bike. It's you my first 30 days. <laughs> he didn't say 30 minutes. That nigga say 30 days on me. Mm -hmm. Hell no, dog. First 30 days. Hell After no. that, you got to pay, man. Now, you, you got the uh, gold medal game. Yeah, gold medal game clothing. Cl yeah. So, yeah, you got the clothing. Come, when, I when, got that on right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, what? What what uh what uh what led you to start doing that shit though like yeah. well well gold metal game at first I used to have this 
uh, uh, thing when I was young because I was trying to come up with a thing because yeah. I was starting to f focus on the game, on the music game. Yeah. And I and I was doing my research and I seen like a, people had brands and stuff. Yeah, so for I was sure. like, what's going to be me? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? What's going to be my brand? So I started calling myself the World Olympics. Yeah. Because I was like, yeah, we winners in the yeah. winner circle. All that. For sure, for so, sure. But I seen that another guy already had that popping. Like he popping already World Olympics. He like three fingers to the sun. I'm like, <laughs> I can't do that. This mm. nigga guy he didn't take it off. He's mm -hmm. doing his thing. So I ended up switching it up. So I remember I was walking up the street with my boy Duke. Yeah. And we was talking. I'm like, yeah, it gotta be gang, the gold gang. You know? Yeah. And I think he threw the medal in the middle, like, no, a gold medal gang. I'm like, yeah. Hell yeah. And then I just hard. put the story behind it, like, like, yeah, gold medal gang. So like whatever we going for, yeah. it's it, that's our goal. So like say if it's like a uh a kid, yeah. a, 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 a college student, yeah. they go is to get the degree. Yeah, yeah. So when they get it, they got their goal. Yeah, so yeah. that's what the that's what the the rep, the, the clothing line represents. Yeah, the whole yeah. brand represents just money. Oh, that's like hard. going to get it. You know yeah, what I'm yeah. That shit hard as hell, that's dog. The story I'm gonna call me a ticket, dog. Oh, for sure, bro. Yeah, for yeah. sure. I got you. Know I'm gonna I deliver it, drop off, you know, whatever. Yeah, you know yeah, what yeah. Send it through the mail. <laughs> whatever. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. That shit hard, dog. Shit yeah, tough, but I'm, I'm I'm about to get ready to drop the website to the uh to the clothing line, I had some hiccups with funding. You yeah. know what I'm saying? You know, when you independent, Hell you yeah. doing it on your own shit. The, shit money, the money is the the, 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 the shit. So yeah, I yeah. had some hiccups with that. But I'm getting shit in order and I'm sure. I'm moving at a pace and I'm and I feel good, man. Yeah, yeah, because ain't no point you speeding some shit up and then it be a fuck up. You feel me? Yeah. Hell yeah, though. I feel you on that one shit. Do, you, do your listeners know they used to call you speedy out there on the Dude, court? that shit funny. Your dad was just saying that shit yesterday, <laughs> dog. That shit funny. I'm medium now and shit. I'm, just, <laughs> I'm medium. I'm, just, I'm a slow bobber, nigga. Hey, like, the listeners out there, I used to hoo him. Duh. He fast as hell on the court <laughs> with a basketball. So you like you got you know they got to be hand and eye coordination <laughs> for you to be able to run Duh. fast with a peel. That that's 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 cold right there because I could never do it. I, I got one one fast move <laughs> and that's it. You and Malcolm, Malcolm the same way. Malcolm ball too. He was, you know, he, he was showing me up when I was here. I was like, damn. <laughs> Little like Mike, cause you remember he had the yeah, brain. Yeah, that little like Mike. <laughs> no, that's like you call that nigga up in the hood. It ain't called Bow Wow, it's called Pow Wow. Cause he had a motherfucking sick big brains in that bitch, dog. Yeah. Goddamn hell yeah. Hey man, I'm glad he said that, dog. Cause niggas don't be believing my hoop dreams and shit. They think I'm out of money and shit, dog. Like niggas just talking and shit. But no, I used to hate hooping when it was like the uh like yo 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 pops. Or like your uncle and shit, they be an outlet. Me, I'm like damn, I gotta bust up. Cause they know outlet. They, that's all they want to do. Go. <laughs> it was like it was like seeing the proud moment. Like, Look at him go. <laughs> Oh, I got the ball. Here. Hell yeah. <laughs> no, that's how shit you be out there every day, nigga. Every game, oh, dog. That shit be. Don't let me hold this nigga. I know I'm about to do all the work on offense. Him, my nigga Juan and shit, dog. I'm about to do all the fucking work, dog. Cool. But then I get on them good teams with, like, your dad or your uncle and shit, or, like, uh, Jay and them niggas, oh, yeah. Mike. Yeah. I know I ain't got to do as much. Like, all right, man, I'm going I'm to be a decent team now. Yeah, I ain't yeah. got to. I get my three points and shit and go and shit, dog. <laughs> Speaking about this nigga been gone for a long time on his delivery run for the... <laughs> He a whole interview. Hope yeah, that nigga get pulled over my shit, dog. <laughs> <laughs> Knock on wood. Now I ask anybody this question, bro. Cause I know he he got the uh, the alert on his phone because he probably be barbecuing this shit. Cause mm -hmm. are we good? A barbecue we good? Uh, mojo yeah, deal. Got, in the they grill. want me to do the grill and shit, man. So you but know. But I ask anybody this question, nigga. We all grew up watching motherfucking making the band. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Chopping Ness, all them niggas. Fred, oh, yeah. Diddy, uh, uh, stopping the show and shit, dog. Closing the studio and shit. Mm -hmm. Cheesecake walking ass nigga. Oh man, that but, was some uh, some funny shit right there. If you had your own making the band, bro, one album. Y'all got this one album deal. You can pick. Four people besides which, which including yourself. Who are the people you would pick for your shit, dog? One album shit. Oh shit. B. Yeah. Prince. Yeah. That's down. Shit. Michael Jackson. Okay. R. Kelly. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sorry to everybody. No, that's it. So R it's R. Kelly. You know that nigga is listen. <laughs> for, no. Minus the Robert. Yeah. R. Kelly. Yeah. Right? R. Kelly, bro, like. This nigga wrote for everybody. Hell yeah. Stevie Wonder. If he was to do a versus, if everything was regular, yeah. damn, Kells, why? <laughs> your, your versus would have been the best. But listen, Hell yeah. I don't know who you could have went against. You, they probably would have had to put like six niggas against you. Hell yeah. And then you probably would like, damn, y'all can't play that song because I wrote that one. Hell yeah. But, uh, uh, but if Kells was to do a versus, yeah. then who would he be able to... Damn, who I would can't... be able to match up with him? This, that's shit. a good question. I right? don't know, dog. Who would be able to match up with Kells? Maybe 
Maybe cool. Babyface could win against him just because he was on some writing shit too. Man, Babyface ain't touching my But yeah, I'm not, I can't, Usher can't fuck with him. Michael Jackson can't even fuck with him. Man. And I and, and I won't put and, I, and I'm and I'm standing on that. Go do your research. I don't know. Who Look how many now, records my, my he cousin, wrote. My cousin swear but down that Mary J. Blige can go at him. What's your cousin name? <laughs> <laughs> my nigga Lance, dog. Lance. <laughs> My name is Mojo. <laughs> so look, man, this is one thing. Uh, it's a church downtown. They got a little confession booth. Just go let go let go be free. Let, <laughs> let go of what's holding because you something must be going on on top. <laughs> because why would you say some goofy junk like that? Mary J. Bly? You talk about <laughs> no. that no. man? No, man. You no, that nigga, man. that nigga, that nigga, R. Kelly catalog is too, is, is it's too, too steep. Yeah, it's too, too much. It's too dog. steep. It's man. too much. I don't know. So you say R. Kelly, Prince, Big, you, and who's the other one? Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson. That's a, that's a good. Hey, and this for for the rest of you niggas that come on the show and pass niggas. You see how easy that was because this nigga is a, a is a real artist. He has people. I gave him an answer, a, a question that he, he didn't know about, and answer them bitches. Niggas be that bitch like damn. No media training, yeah, but you he, know, hey, when, you, when I when I sign my first nigga, you good. <laughs> like, we good. You know what no, I'm saying? Like that. Niggas be that bitch like I don't want to disrespect nobody or damn I don't know or this like nigga. You know who your peoples is. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a, a hooper. I can name my top five. I'm being transparent. I, 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 I dabble in music, nigga. Like I can name them niggas I want to fuck with, nigga. And my shit was like T Pain. Yeah. And shit like I love T Pain, bro. Mm-hmm. Like, I like T Pain. The T Pain, I like how he is as a human too. Like yeah, I like people yeah, yeah. that got good energy. He's not the type of nigga you could just get drunk with and have yeah. a good time, nigga. Even Easy. <laughs> Even if I rap about some killing shit or something like that, yeah, like, yeah. it's entertainment, bro. Like Hell I like yeah. being around people that's good energy and just, sure. we just having fun, man. Just Hell know yeah. it's a it's a it's a form of art. Man, yeah. we just having fun with it, expressing that, ourselves and it. shit like that. That's it. Now, the last thing I want to ask you, dog, before we get to the last uh, moments of the show, dog, is what's some shit you would change from the way you started, bro? Like, if you could look back, like, or you had a chance to go back and change some shit, how would you change your approach to uh, to music? I'd be more uh, uh, confident and 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 I get rid of procrastination. Yeah, for sure. Hell uh, yeah. And like going back to what we were talking about earlier in the show about the whole like you be in your head, yeah. Like that's what I get. I get rid of that. Yeah, I yeah. Just know like man, just do it. Yeah, just for go, sure, man. Because sometimes you get in your head so much. I was in a depressed state, bro. Yeah. Like I felt like I wasn't where I was supposed to be in life. Hell yeah. It was a whole bunch of It be like that though, shit. nigga. Like it would be hard to make music. Yeah. It was hard. I'm saying outside right. of music, when you when you feel like that, nigga, it's gonna fuck up a lot of shit. Yeah. You know, you know what, what I'm saying? Family. Uh, I got family. I'm on, I ain't talking to like that. Uh, yeah. I got family I ain't talking to like that and shit. And, yeah. and, and, and they probably like, this motherfucker on some funny shit. I be like, no, I ain't no funny shit. <laughs> yeah. I'm just going I'm through just, some shit. Just, I'm trying to clear my space and get for my sure. mind right, man. Hell and, yeah. and shit like that. But uh, uh, the, for the most part, then... That's the only thing I really changed. Hell yeah, yeah for sure. Hell yeah, that's, yeah for sure. Right, sure you right. can't be in your way a lot of times. Then, like I said, real life shit... Can shit fuck up some shit too, like real life shit. That nigga, you might not have a job you want, or fuck the relationship, yeah. or this ain't in play. Mm-hmm. And then you ain't got no motivation right no fucking music. Mm-hmm. Like nigga, fuck that. I'm going through. I gotta get this shit right so I can make some good music. And then like I would even try, like I get forced myself, oh, yeah. get in front of the computer, like get in front of putting beats on, but it just wasn't clicking, it wasn't yeah. coming because I was just. My mind wasn't there. Hell it was yeah. just I was worried about everything else. For sure. Hell but now yeah. I'm 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 taking it day by day, day t- day tight compartments. Hell yeah. And I'm just I'm a win like that. Hell yeah, for sure, for sure, man. Now we got this one thing, dog. Top three, man. I give you a a, a category. You give me your top three for it. All right. You, you say you're a big dude, man. Give me your top three fools. Oh, uh, <laughs> that's easy. Salmon. Yeah. Uh, I was just about to say salmon. I had to say <laughs> yeah. salmon or whatever. Yeah. Uh, uh, Salmon croquettes, I mean. Oh, nigga, them bitches be true. Oh, we just talking about them shit with yesterday. With the rice. Hey, yeah, yeah. Got sugar, have biscuits, too. With the sugar oh, on the no, rice. Oh, no, 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 no. I messed it up. No, I suck, man. I don't give a fuck. That's <laughs> what I do. That's what I do. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. But I, uh, 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 you know, burgers, like a hamburger. Okay. I like a burger, bro. Ain't nothing like a good burger. Nigga, hell know. yeah. Nothing like a good smash burger. Dog, hell yeah. I'm gonna do one of the bitches today. <laughs> so you said burger, salmon, coquette, and regular salmon? Yeah, regular salmon. Oh, uh, oh, I got one more. Uh, 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 something that I'm always eating all the time. Uh, yeah. Uh, 
morning star uh uh, uh vegan yeah. breakfast sausages. Okay. I O D on them, bro. Dog. <laughs> Dog. Yeah, bro. I bro, you sleeping with you like you like what? I swear. <laughs> If you try one of them joints, bro, yeah. you won't never eat a regular sausage again, bro. You said Morning Star? Yes. Vegan sausage? Vegan sausage. It's called Morning Star. People out there, if you know about the Morning Stars, y'all know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Hell yeah. Them damn. boys slap. They slap with them, dude. That's, that's my top three right there. All right. Give me your uh, give me your top three uh, movies, bro. Top three movies. Friday. Yeah. Uh, Belly. Yeah. And... uh. Uh, Daddy Daycare. Okay, man, I'll, Daddy Daycare is a great I used to, movie. I, I love it. That was a I used great. To be, movie, I used to be on bro. Belly until I got older, bro. And then I just, didn't, I, I'm like, damn, I don't really like this movie. Oh yeah, Belly. Why? I don't know. Just like the whole, the whole production, the whole everything. Bro, bro, the production was great. I ain't like that. I shit, love man. that shit, bro. With the, <laughs> when they walked to the club. <laughs> the funny thing shit called was probably hell, my bro. Trend. <laughs> oh, dog, y'all crazy, bro. Right. <laughs> yeah. That shit cold, bro. Right. Like a one long ass music video. Man, that shit was sweet as hell. Right. Give me your top three TV shows. Top three TV shows. Uh, Martin. Yeah, of course, a classic. Uh, classic. Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Classic. And the Cosby Show. Yeah, classic, classic. Cosby yeah. Show was my shit, bro. That to hey, I don't care what nobody say. Cosby Show. Uh, it made you want to be a family man. Hell yeah. I hope your old man watched this interview. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shit on Cosby Show so hard last night. Hell yeah, Hell yeah for sure. Yes. <laughs> Y'all gonna have to have a conversation. Hey, Dad, we gonna have to. I love you to death. You know, I never go against you, but this one I'm going <laughs> against you. Bill Cosby, that was a great representation <laughs> of a black family and, and how it was supposed to be. And then and I love that. Right, you there, had the man. finest TV mom ever. Oh. Claire Huxtable is no other TV mom. I said great. that in my song. Yeah. Oh yeah, I know. Yep. Give me some class. Let me get some Claire Huxtable. Dog. No yes. cap. Yeah. That was she was she was mean, fierce, yeah, talking yeah. her little slick, sexy shit. You know Man. what I'm saying? Yeah. And was around there showing it, and and she dressed to people. Even when they was going to work out. Yeah. You ain't. They were still. It just. It was just the the woman was looked at as classy, bro. Yeah. Yes, man. Just like even with the show girlfriends. Yeah. With the four friends that get along and having fun. Yeah. Like yeah. They don't. They don't have no representation. No, they don't. They don't. They just had that motherfucking bullshit. They like man. that shit that that wop and and yeah, and, yeah. and, the, and the love and hip hop. Yeah, bitch got to yeah. get beat up. Bitch, yeah, if you yeah. ain't bitch, you ain't stripping. Bitch, oh, bitch you ain't shit. <laughs> yeah. If you yeah, ain't yeah. a stripper, bitch, yeah, you ain't shit. Claire Huxtable is yeah. the, is is. is Nigga, it's Claire Hustle than everybody else, dog, when it comes to TV moms. Man, facts. Claire yeah. Hustle was number one, then Auntie Viv after that. Yeah, which Aunt one? Auntie Viv was cool. For dark skin, light skin. Uh, dark skin, because she was funny as hell when she was in that bitch. Hell yeah. Doing that damn hell hell yeah. See hell that yeah. One. They thought she was <laughs> she wanted shit. She was fucking them no, up. No, for real. That. All right, give me, your, uh, give me your top three childhood crushes, bro. Top three. Aaliyah. Mm hmm. Jill Scott. Yeah. Who else would want another one that I used to like a lot? What's the one chick name? Megan Good. Okay, okay, yeah. Oh my god. Hey man, shout out to my nigga uh 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 Nappy Devi, dog. This fool has <laughs> said his childhood crush was uh Queen Latifah, bro. Uh top three. I had a crush on Queen Latifah. <laughs> 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 Cause I'm thinking when I was little, bro. Yeah. I did, bro. That's a first. That's a. I'm being honest, yeah. like you know what I'm saying. That's a, that's a first. Big mama, you know what I'm saying. Thickums, right <laughs> thickums, bro. You know what I'm saying. Yeah, <laughs> wait, wait, how? He must have didn't see her in that movie when she showed her titties. Duh. No way that he could be. The Queen Latifah is a homie. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck. She, fuck yeah, like, hey, come on. She probably got bitches that's cold too. Oh yeah. my god. Hell yeah. But, give, give me your uh top your top three underrated rappers. Oh, Jada. Hell uh, yeah, Royce. Yep. And uh uh, uh, what's another rapper that I just like? I just said uh, Mace. Yeah. I ain't gonna say Mace Underground too under. I can't say yeah, that. But he's, I'm gonna say Fab. Yeah, yeah, Fab. Cause Fab, Fab is kind of like he, he he just. But a lot of these artists done kind of like took. Oh got yeah, in, hell yeah. Got hell in the yeah. underground got lane yeah. and just say fuck it. This is my lane. I'm I'm taking yeah, it. Like they sure. pioneers of you. Yeah, yeah. Now last top three dog. This would be a tough one dog. Top three moments in your life. Oh, this is a tough one. Top three <laughs> moments in my life. Okay, one moment. Uh, jumping garages. Yeah. Uh, we used to do this shit where we used to jump uh, garages and shit. Yeah. And they had shingles. Yeah. We were fucking people's garages. Up. We lifting shingles up <laughs> and we throwing shingles at each other. So you know, in the garage, it got a peak. 
So what happens is we are hide on this side of the garage, on their yeah. garage, you know, got a peak. They're yeah. hide on the opposite side. So we throwing shingles. Yeah. Right? So uh, one move, I'm trying to run yeah. and kind of jump on their garage. But, yeah. like, but I'm about to jump. I done did it a hundred th times. Yeah. I, I jump off my shit, throw one, and I jump on their garage. You run up their shit. Yeah. You just straight army having yeah. fun and yeah. shit. This particular day, I missed that bitch. Like when I jumped, I missed it. Whew. I'm falling in between the um the two garages. Yeah. Boom, I fall. A whole bunch of rubbish and, and, yeah. and, and shit down there. I stand up. I dust myself off and I felt something get stuck on my pants. Yeah. Look, I had a whole piece of bark that went through my palm and came on my fingers. Damn. The mark just now. Look, that's the mark right there. It's yeah. just now getting little. This yeah. is when I was young. It just now got that little. That's so crazy that it's still there. Duh. Like, like that shit hurt it so bad. Damn. So when it, I didn't cry. I kept it G. I'm like, damn. It's a piece of wood in my palm coming yeah. out of my finger. Yeah. So then my mama like, when I get down the street, my grandma and I'm on the porch. My grandma like, oh shit. She like, oh my god, going the house. Damn. My mama like, okay. So I'm like, it ain't really hurting. I'm good. She poured some peroxide on it yeah. and came with tweezers. I said, first I felt, I'm like, this ain't something ain't about to be right. Yeah. She tried to tug on that bitch. I'm, ah! <laughs> we got to take it to the hospital. Hell yeah. So that was that. The Damn, second, that the shit second hurt. moment. Think this, about it. This memorable, you know, I don't go fuck. I'm transparent. I'll tell you whatever. Yeah. Well, I want to tell you. <laughs> but uh, 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 Easter. Yeah. I think I was every bit about 13, 14. For sure. We got a pastor on our block. You know, every pastor on the block got their own little, yeah. you know, little building. They done buff about 5,000. <laughs> you know? <laughs> they got cheered and shit. It's like an office. It was like, like an office building for real where yeah. they say it's church. But <laughs> we, go to, we go to church for Easter. And uh, we get there early because we rode with him. So, of course, we had to get there like an hour early. Mm -hmm. He's setting up. So, uh, he like, y'all hungry? And like, yeah. So, he cut the little crock pot on. Yeah. <laughs> Ten minutes later, we come in there. It's hot dogs in there. Yeah. So we eating the hot dogs, <laughs> uh, chilling, do do do. Service start. Yeah. So I'm like, my stomach feeling funny as hell. Yeah. Mind you, this Easter, you know, service be booming. <laughs> Everybody in there is deep as hell. I'm like my stomach hurting like a motherfucker dog, do do. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm in the middle of the pew, and it's like it got to be like six people. For me to get out, so you know you and Pew gotta do yeah, like this. Excuse me, excuse me. So I go this way and six people. So I'm like, oh my god, my stomach hurt. So I'm squeezing my booty hard as hell because I got a fart right there. And I, if I let it go, it's over. Like we, so I'm holding. So it went back up. But it, when it went back up, it started fighting everything. My shit just started pitching. I got up. I said I gotta go. Soon as I got up, I sneeze. <laughs> sneeze. I shit it on myself. I swear to God, <laughs> in the house of the Lord, I shit it on myself, and I walked. I walked out. I walked out the side, and I had on a pinstripe cream suit Duh. with a black silk shirt, like a like a little silky looking shirt. <laughs> and I went in the bathroom. I pulled my pants. I look. I say, "Oh, I done shit it on myself for real." <laughs> and they came. They took my. Uh, uh, he let the deacon take me home. Took me to the crib. Went home, my uncle wouldn't let me lock, die that shit down. Duh. Like, well, you done shit it on yourself, huh? Duh. That nigga say he's the clothes. Throw the clothes out. That's how my uncle talking. Throw them clothes out. Duh. Mm. That shit funny as hell. I that shit on myself. That, and then the uh, third time was I brought a pocket knife to school. Yeah. Uh, it was one of them little pocket knives that got all the little scissors Yeah, and everything shit. on that motherfucker. So my man, I'm going to say his name because he told him his name was Jamil. You a snitch. Got to say that. Uh, whoever doing business with him, oh, that's a million Jamils probably. <laughs> but anyway, uh, <laughs> <laughs> everybody think Jamil about to start having business tomorrow. Everybody looking at Jamil sorry way like <laughs> snitch. Uh, anyway, uh, uh, I had brought a pocket knife to school. This is my man. I thought we do eight. I'm showing him the pocket knife. I'm in middle school. Yeah. So I'm like, we in the um, we in the uh, uh cafeteria. I pulled a knife under the the, the table. Yeah. And I said, nigga, what you think? Like, what you <laughs> so the nigga eyes got big. I guess he thought I was pulling it out on him or something. Yeah. So his eyes got big, and he and he uh went and told the uh the lunch aide, you know, yeah. the lady that's giving out the food. Yeah. And she came, got me. They took me in. They knew Corey. Yeah. They knew cousin Corey. Yeah. So they so they took it and they and they took a copy of it. They put it on the Xerox machine. Yeah. They put a piece of paper on top of it. Took a copy of it. Yeah. Then they scared me straight. Sent the let the police come up there. Yeah, damn. Police took me to took me up to the thing. And I said, wait. 
I am not like this. Like, <laughs> what is this? Like, y'all don't have to scare me. I'm here already. Like, my mental, I'm already, I don't want to be here already. Why are y'all scaring me? Talk about this where I'm going to go. Bro, you don't think I, I'm i a good guy. Yeah, like, yeah. you don't think I know already I don't want to go here? For sure. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's just funny as hell. That's the only, one of my top three memories. No, bro. that's just crazy, dog. Three classic ass little Street, shit, though. That was classic, bro. That shit funny as hell. This nigga got bark in his fucking hand. Man, bark. Fucking shit it. <laughs> shit it. <laughs> you know, oh, I, I always tell that stuff. Like, I really don't care. Nigga about to go to jail and shit. Yeah. I think, nigga, I started like uh, a month ago, bro. This is a month ago. My step goes, I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. Nigga no. needs some depends too no. early. Like, no. you too you too young <laughs> to need some depends. Listen, listen, bro. My stomach too old to be shitting. I think this is because I was kind of nervous about a new job, dog. My stomach is hurting. So, I'm thinking I'm earning and getting ready, dog. I think I just got a fart, nigga. So, I ain't, I ain't I'm farting the crib. I don't give a fuck. When I fart, I'm like, oh, shit, that wasn't a fart. Oh, nigga, man. My... <laughs> but when did you realize that it wasn't a fart? It was just was I wet. farted. It felt wet. It like, like, yeah, it was like, oh, your shit. Your drawers felt different. you like, <laughs> son, I'm in there. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, I ran, nigga. Like, oh, shit. I'm like, I'm trying to take a nap for I go start this job and shit, dog. I ain't fucked around and started, man. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, man. So, man, yeah. we got to live our truth. That's yeah, yeah. people. We don't live our nigga, truth enough. Niggas be too scared to tell somebody man, embarrassing people, stories, nigga. Else we go through some shit. that want to get that out. Hell yeah. You feel me? Nigga, I'm a You see how I open that up for bro to tell me you that yourself? I open that up to let bro say, listen. <laughs> it's okay. I sharted before. Well, yeah, I, yeah. I, you're, See, yeah. it was a little, little, little. Mine was a little different. Yeah, your shit was My a lot. shit was vicious. My like, shit yeah. was just like, well, I pain. had to get rid of the drawers <laughs> on the scene. Like, you would, <laughs> nigga couldn't even go home and like, Nigga, I had to get rid of him on the scene. Nigga, like, free ball. Nigga, it's okay, dog. Free ball in the pinstripe suit. <laughs> Easter suit. Now, give me a, <laughs> give me a, what's name, man? A drunk moment or a high moment or both? And you just uh, fucked up as a story. You were fucked up, dog. On one of the, on one of them or both of them. I got a drunk moment. Uh, I don't really got high moment. I ain't got nothing special for that. Yeah. But drunk moment, I was drinking in Royal Oak. Yeah. Shout out to my homegirl, my ECC live in Cali. She the uh, director. She dope too. She yeah. go by the name of My Touch Film. She do a lot of shit. Yeah. Uh, uh, we was out in uh, Royal Oak, and we drink. She's like, I'm coming into town. Ooh. Yeah. So we drinking, we going shot, shot, shot. It's banging. We in uh, Mr. B's. Okay, I, I know you. Yeah, so yeah, it's yeah. banging. Like, Mr. B's was my low key spot before yeah. everybody came. Now they changed it to something else. But yeah. uh, I'm in there. Ooh, ooh, we bang, we banging shots back. I go, so I stand up. I get dizzy. I'm like, okay, let me sit down. Yeah. So it's two chicks that come and they sitting like on the end. Like, because in Mr. B's, they got these little long tables in there. Yeah. So they sitting on the end. So I pee one. I'm like, okay, I'm about to go. You know, my yeah. man's around. I'm like, you get two on two. I hear me go holler at him. Hell yeah. I go down there, I get the holler at him. Like, woo, woo, woo. I'm like, that's my man right there. I'm like, come on. So her yeah. girl was feeling him. So she came out. We vibing. Yeah. Dog. <laughs> Liquor still kicking me. <laughs> so girl looking cute. I'm like, damn, she cute. I'm kicking. I'm talking. When I'm talking. I'm waiting for my food to come. Because I'm like, I got to get this liquor out of yeah. I'm through. Yeah. I ain't going to be able to say the right shit. Yeah. Wrong shit came out. Duh. This bitch smiled. And she had like little teeth. Like, <laughs> it was like. I start busting out laughing. And I just put my head down. My man's look at my man's shout out to my bro Juni. He look he turns aside. Now listen, they are cute. Like yeah. they vibing with us. Like yeah. he look at me say. <laughs> you already know that right, look. So he look, I don't give a fuck. I look up. I look right up. Ah! I'm howling. Like I'm howling. So he finally, you know how you laugh so much, you hear a nigga laugh so much, he started, he's like, man, what, man? Like, you know what I'm saying? You know how nigga, so he's like, what, man? I'm like, come here. He's like, man, what? I'm like, this bitch got baby teeth. Dog. And bro, she came around, like, came around a little bar, yeah. got in between my legs, I swear to God, my son got in between my legs, like, what you laughing at? Like, I grabbed her by her waist. I'm like, she fired. Yeah. But I'm so drunk and blow yeah. that her teeth was little. And I just thought, I'm like, you too grown to have these. I'm like, who let you in here? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you. you no, I didn't say that. Oh, I, no. I, I, in my head, that's what I'm thinking. That's why I was laughing so hard because I was blazing her so scandalous. Duh. <laughs> and she had the nerve to not close her mouth like not once. I'm like, I'm in my head. I'm like, please just close it because I'm a, I just close it. Close Duh. it. Like, Duh. That was probably like my that that was like one of my drunk moments. This nigga moments, say like, baby TV that motherfucker. You or you get the motherfuckers who have braces like that. What the fuck the braces on? Because like, it's yeah, all gums and you shit. You see gums like this. Like and you see a little bit of tooth at the bottom. You like. <laughs> 
<laughs> fuck you the? bracing. Like, damn, the, your shit ain't even fell out yet to you. Yeah, you yeah, ain't even got your grown people teeth yet. No, what are you trying to correct? Like, let, let the motherfucker fall out, dog. Yeah, so the grown people can come. No, shit, this grown nigga people teeth can come. Hell, shit. Hey, man. This nigga, that was a good dope ass interview. Hey, man, dog. I appreciate you coming, man. Man, I know they nigga got barbecue and shit. Yeah, I gotta go barbecue. Hey, let man. the people know where they can follow you on, on, on socials and where they can find your music, bro. Oh, follow me on um on uh Instagram. I'm I'm working on my Facebook. I, I kinda stopped fucking with Facebook. But, yeah, uh, yeah. on my Instagram is Gold Metal Gang. So it's G O L D M E D A L Gang G A N G dot mojo. So it should read Gold Metal Gang Mojo. Mm-hmm. And that's on my Instagram on my um um, on my Twitter is the great underscore big D. So you know I'm I'm getting back active on there. I'm talking a lot of shit on there. So if you want to come on there and check me out, come on there. Yeah. I'm about to drop a new single called Hit 'em Some More on all digital platforms. All my music gonna be on all digital platforms. Yeah, so. for sure. So uh, and we doing a video for that. We actually been shooting for the video already. So yeah, we we do, we doing the thing. So yeah, you know, yeah, so we sure. press and play with everything. So. Hell yeah, you got some last man words you want to give the people, dog? Yeah, man. Uh. Everybody, we got it. no procrastination, bro. Yeah. Don't procrastinate, bro. Like, yeah. go ahead and get it done. If you say you're going to do it, just do it. Yeah. You know, yeah. and if you a smoker like me, get that shit done for sure. Like, nigga, you, <laughs> nigga, don't procrastinate if you smoke that weed. Because, nigga, like, you hit the weed, nigga, it's over with, nigga. Yeah. You do. But, yeah. do. But on a serious note, just don't be a procrastinator. Bro. For sure, for sure. My shit, man, if you think it's a fart and you got to question it, it might be a shit. So just go take a shit, man, because you're going to shit on yourself. <laughs> I'm trying to wrap my head around that, but <laughs> what he said. If it feels loose, if, if, if it feels loose, feel loose, don't try to fart it, man, because you're going to get sharp. You know, say all your motherfucking drugs, man. Then you're going to be embarrassed like me to tell your wife what's going on. I got a little sharp in my motherfucking drugs. Yeah. So, yeah, just go go in the bathroom. and It might be a fart, but just be safe. Pinstripe you know? suits do pretty good on Zorb and that shit, too. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, I'll let y'all boys, man. We got motherfucking uh, Mojo D in the building. Peace. Got Classy Pahe on the side. Got motherfucking Sugar Goodnight, nigga Q Lewis behind the boards. And you got myself, man. The best podcast hosting the motherfucking world, man. Shout out to everybody.